we're, we're back in then? So yes. Hey, Pawn. Uh, so yes, last time on the dynamics of good and evil, Talek the Wabbit Paladin, Bundle the Tabaxi Ranger, Dashkin the Barbarous Dragonborn, Rania the mischievous ghostwise halfling druid, and Mephisto Bard Feliana had plundered into the Undersider Pass with their guides, Belksis the Dragonborn and Hygric the Half-Orc. Mm. After interacting with a Dryder and her Bobolds, as well as some curious flaming skulls, they finally descended into a cavernous room containing a hellish spawn of Kyus, which launched necrotic worms at them, as well as attacked them with several zombies and a ghoul. However, the party per persevered and seemed to crawl out of that encounter with nary a wound nor an infection to be found. However, they found that their next entrance has a time lock on it, where a lever must be pushed, and then they must book it in order to service the next room. What will the party decide? Will they finally get to the Fey Keep? Thanks for tuning in, and welcome back to the dynamics of good and evil. So yes, uh, Hygric, Dashigan, and Bundle are currently interacting with the stone and <laughs> stone and ebony lever in the back. Meanwhile, Belksis and Feliana are currently eyeing the door nervously, while Rania and Talik are duking it out like always. I'm telling you guys, I can make that rotten. I have a better idea. Talik, you appear to have company. Yeah, nothing like a, nothing like a dash again with haste. <laughs> uh, dash again. Um, right. Feliana, I don't have haste prepped. I know. But no, I have I, a better idea. No, I know. I know, but like, I just... wait, did Dash can say Christ? I almost <laughs> did, yes. <laughs> yeah, What's your idea, Rania? Oh. I have this uh, cool ability, or uh, this uh, cool spell. And do it. it uh, uh, hello, uh, the... hello, Telex, little sister. How's it going? I'm muting him until uh, he's ready to say something. Okay. <laughs> or he can just poke me and then I'll unmute him so people can hear cool. him on stream. Awesome. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, I have this uh, cool spell. It's called Meld into Stone. Come over here, real quick, Rania. Uh, yeah. What's up? Try to, try to pull this lever. Run, <laughs> run your thorn whips the lever. <coughs> mm, that lever breaks. Strength check. <laughs> ah, fine. But, uh, huh! That was a 13. Uh, after about 30 seconds, he does manage to pull it, but it takes a bit of straining, but he does eventually get it. Cool. Are you and the sure door is... opens. Tick, 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 tick. Dash tick, tick, wheel. Don't run through there yet. As we see, uh, Belk just just booking it towards the door. Mm. Anyway. And so, <laughs> and so following, like, with her crutches, like, go, go! I only have 25 speed! <laughs> On. Door's oh. locked. Okay. Talik is good now. Yep, yep. Yeah. Okay, uh, Space so... Again. Uh, I can, um, um, uh, it may take a little bit of time, but I can pull this lever down. You guys oh. will have plenty of time to get through that door, and I... Uh, I will have plenty of time to get through the door. I mean, uh, I'll have plenty of time to get through, no problem. This spell lasts for eight hours. Very right, well. If I, if I anything, <laughs> yes, bundle. Uh, my only question is, are we sure that that door is just stone, as you can probably move through the through stone? But what if it's something else? That's a good question. Don't want to go check out that door. Uh, I mean, you yeah. said this. Hold on, you said the spell lasts for eight hours, right? Mm -hmm. Cast it and go try to walk through the door. Mm. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Talek proceeds to look at the door, sniff it, lean against it, um, and proceeds to give it a long, slow echo. Oh, Jesus. No. 
Why are you looking at the door? I mean, why are you looking at the wall? Uh, do I roll uh, perception or insight? Con save. Oh, you lick shit. why would you lick a door? Curiosity, my friend. Curiosity. Oh, my. Your ancestors, that was a bad idea. Yep. Congratulations, ah. you're not having a seizure. I think that might be paralyzing dust. All right, he DM, starts. DM. He starts. He starts coughing. Like, <coughs> like as it, like he he like coughs and like chalk just pours out. Oh, chalk. and not okay. just a cloud, but like a good like couple teaspoons of chalk come out. Now let's go with my suggestion and let Ronnie yeah. try to walk through that door to see if he can walk through it with his spell. Um, before we do that, I want us to make double sure that uh, these undead boys are actually dead because if I do this and I uh, and I'm able to get through the door and whatnot or rather if I try to get through the door and these boys start waking up and start attacking me it may be a problem Dashigan walks over to this to this boy and starts stabbing him repeatedly in the head with his great sword do I have to roll anything uh, I mean he nope. was on fire he was on fire so Nope. Uh, Push, uh, nope. Uh, it, it's it's quite dead, to your knowledge. I'm pretty sure it's dead, Ronya. Um, and if it wasn't before, it's definitely dead now. Do you mind humoring me for a moment, Dash? But yeah, the needs just remember it. What, Ronya? Just remember it. Dash will cut its head off. All right. Dismember, not decapitate. I've seen the oddly enough. He will I've keep heard... chopping until it is literally nothing but giveless. Uh, it already was on fire, so yeah, it's pretty charred, like limbs just scattered about. Out of character, I was concerned that a dead space situation may occur. <laughs> yes. Well, now it is. Now it is ideally in several hundred pieces. Cool. Uh, d uh, do that to uh, the the bigger boy over there while I go uh, uh, play with this door. Dash will start gibbleting stuff. Tell him oh, that Ryan is uh, slapping it, smacking his mouth. Need All some right. salt. <laughs> Let's try not okay. to do. Okay. Kill ourselves, please. Says Bundle as he as he nudges Talik to go out of the way. Ranya approaches the door. What? He approaches the door, and he closes his eyes for a moment, letting go to see. He still has the mask on, by the way, uh, that uh, he put on before. So none of you can quite see his face, but... Oh yeah, no, Dash will say, if you don't have that mask on, put that goddamn mask on. Mm, I have uh, uh, both uh, masks on. The, He's saying uh, that to everyone. And, uh, I got a mask. <laughs> Uh, he looks outside and he starts moving towards the door, casting the spell Men through stone as he approaches. I was about to say, link it for the audience. Uh, link it for the audience. Uh, all your equipment. Link it for the audience. How long does it take to cast as a ritual? It's one action. Uh, it's not a ritual. It's a it says, oh, wait, it says ritual. ritual. Well, cast time is one action, so that's about... Maybe know. that's... maybe it's... you can cast it as a ritual so it doesn't take up a spell slot. Wait, is that how that works? Ooh. Yeah! I, wait, it, it doesn't take up a spell slot if I cast something as a ritual? No, that, that but... Uh, you can use your movement to leave the stone where you enter it, which... What? Oh. Oh. So it only, but it will only work once as a. Uh, uh, it means you can't go all the way through the stone. You can't meld through stone. You meld into uh, it. Uh, really? So uh, yeah, yeah. So I think I, I'm I gonna. Can't, like, I'll I tell you what. I'll tell you what. Uh. Make an Arcana check. Oh. Boy. I actually make a. Uh, what's your casting ability? My, my casting ability is uh, the wisdom, so... Will save. Will save? Ah. Uh, da -da. 
Oh, wait, will save or wisdom? That, that is the wisdom save. Alright, yeah, you try to push through, but it's just like... It starts out like quicksand, like, oh, it's fine, fine, but then it just turns into big, gloppy cement the more you try and pull through, and eventually you're just stuck in the middle. And you, you can't oh. profess any further, but, like, the more you try to go forward, the more it just halts and slows you until... Uh. It's very slow progress through there at the first place, but you, you just can't manage to tap through that end. I'm gonna let's out of sight. Does he come back through? Does he? Does he? Yeah, because I don't think we can hear you if you're in the wall. Mm, but, Ooh, well, I can, I can still use my mental ability. So I can communicate with you if I wanted to, but yeah, I walked back through. Okay, so apparently I can't go through walls. Alright, everyone get at the door. I'll I'll be the I'll be the one to do it. Mm -hmm. No, that won't work. Uh, everyone gather that, up at the door. So does that mean that I uh, lose a spell slot then? Yes. Okay. Well, you're it as a ritual? Yes. Well, let's say that. How long does a ritual take? I don't take? know how. This one takes Ten an action. minutes? I uh, one action, have... six seconds. Oh. So it's a one six minute. second... So it's a six second ritual? Six seconds, one minute... Uh, t uh, like, uh, the spell identify, it has a... <clears throat> it's max uh, maximum ritual time is, uh, ten minutes, so... Either ten minutes, one minute, not sure. Six seconds. Mm -hmm. Either way, not very long. Mm, but I can keep <laughs> the spell as long as I have it prepared and uh, want to take the time to do the ritual? Yes. Huh. As long as you, it's able to be cast as a ritual, yeah. Uh, wait, uh, did that include spells that I don't already have prepared? Mm, pretty sure the spell needs to be prepared. Okay. Uh, just uh, making sure. That's yeah. still very educational. Uh, I did not know that. Anyway, we'll be on. So, okay, before, uh, before we proceed, Brett, this door, we, this door takes 12 seconds, stays open for yes, 12 seconds. Yes, it takes seconds, two actions. And I can move 80 feet if I'm using my action to, to sprint, correct? I believe so. Alright, so I can run 80 feet in 6 seconds? Yes. Alright, Dash is gonna measure out the distance it would take him to sprint from the lever to the door. Run your walk over to Dash again and hold out his hand. Technically I can go faster than you can, though. Why what are you is... holding out his hand? Why are you holding out your hand? I yeah, won't need it's... guidance for this, Rania, but... Gu guidance yeah. doesn't help with speed, unfortunately. If yeah. you need to make a deck, you can do speed. How, how fast are you able to run, bundle? Let's see. Um, if I take my speed at thirty, I can double move, double move, and plus I have the uh, feline agility that makes me go sixty feet, and within one standard movement, right. doing a standard movement, and a standard movement with that, I will be able to to go. 90 feet in one turn. Does a feline agility make it to where you have to hold still for the next turn or you can't sprint or something? Yes. No. Basically, he would have to he would have to sprint. He can sprint, go 60, and then he can use his neck on his next action. He can use feline agility and move another 60. Actually move a... Wait a minute. Can you, can you click that ability and put it in the chat real quick? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so basically you can move 120 feet on one turn potentially. Yep. Can't we just use the big guy as some kind of a uh, leverage? No. Talek. The lever, push the big zombie deal up against it and go from there. Considering he's in zombie bits, no. Well, I don't know. Did you do the ghoul? Yeah, Dash. Dash was chopping up the big guy All right. while Rania was doing his thing. Cool. But my question is, would feline agility make it so he can't sprint for his second turn? Because it'll it'll take two turns once he gets through. Yeah, but door. he but I said he could hold. He could not use his feline agility until the second action. 
Well, yeah. actually, since, like I said, he can move 120 feet in one turn. And then he would only be able to move 60 feet the second turn? Yeah, so I can clear 180 yes. feet in one turn. Yeah, he can't use the double speed and... Okay. Yeah. So yeah, technically by dashing, he can move 120 feet. I'm trying to take in both both turns into account to get the total distance within 12. feet. Okay, yeah, that is faster than 160. Yeah. Well, we have to get through this door. If you, if you want to try it, bundle, feel free, but if, they, if you don't make it through, then I'll put it back up and I will the, be the one to do it. The only thing that has to happen here is that as soon as I get that lever down, I run. I can just get as many tries at this as I can. Alright. Hi, Greg. Come on. Oh. Let's all go with, let's all, we're all going to go way at the door for a bundle. I mm. am the quietest person here. <laughs> How you doing, Beliana? Uh, that's good. That's so, uh, uh, that someone could uh, that you could, could be in this situation. I just hope we get this door open so we can finally get out of this uh, uh, of this horrid red said place. Oh, I bring before, out my Catherine. <laughs> before I start this, I tell Rania as soon as you guys are completely ready, tell tell me in my head <laughs> to pull the lever. I only got thirty feet to do that. 30 feet? God damn it. <laughs> Give us, like, everyone get... Alright, how about this? Everyone gather up here while well, Bundle can still see us so he knows he's good to pull the lever. Alright, that works. And Beliana, uh, do you want me to try and carry you through here since you're still kind of hobbling? Is she? I am. 25 feet of movement. <laughs> yeah, Dash, you can all wait for her permission and... Uh, yes, I believe that's for the best for now. And he will scoop her up to carry her through the door. <laughs> Alright, everyone get as close to the door as you can. Mm. Uh, I'm sorry, I was uh, reading the, my melting stone spell. I think it seems a little more limited by addition of the thought. The AFK are real fast as a heads up. Okay. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and move up towards the, towards the lever. Go to the lever. Uh, crack, uh, crack my fingers before, before attempting and attempt to pull it down. Ooh. You skipped arm day, man. You never oh. skip arm day. Never skip arm day? Yeah, you managed to get it, like, a couple inches, but it's not enough. You like, you wiggle your fingers whew. looking at the guidance he could have given him. Hmm. He... You yeah, I think you gave guidance to Dashkin instead. No, he didn't even take it. I gave guidance to no one. No one accepted it. I didn't... I didn't hear you say you were giving me guidance, but... God damn it. Oh my I god, so, da so Dashkin, this is as dashing as you thought. And Bundle has it in leaps and bounds. <laughs> like I said, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Anyway, I'm gonna try again. There we okay, go. Okay, that time it opens. All right, All right everyone through. Step, the step moment through. I pull it down, I book it. <laughs> so, As I'm stepping through, is this a hole in the floor or is that solid ground? That's f that's fungus covered stairs. Dash, you're gonna do his best to step over that onto the stairs. All right, six second. All right, one. Two, three. Okay, Bundle, I need you to make a deck save. Deck save right now? Okay. <laughs> because there are bits of dead people on the floor that no one bothered to clean up. God damn it! Oh, God damn it. Rania uh, begins to prepare his vine whip. I was waiting for someone to notice it. No one did. Deck save. 
Hmm. Okay, you, you catch, like, on one of the arms briefly, but you manage to still, like, slide through, like, cartoon style, like... <laughs> and you make that hairpin turn. Hooray! And I focus the rest of the way, crashing through anyone else. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you get in, and you just... Like, <laughs> you crash into Hygric, uh... He's gonna make a strength save real quick, uh, but he's a burly boy, so let's see this. Up there, up there, up there. Oh, Ron, yeah. Huh? Yeah, you. <laughs> well, you try to barrel through him, but uh. <laughs> that is he a catches him. Wall of an orc. <laughs> the hump. <laughs> <laughs> No, bundle takes damage from running to the high crick. You take three you take, pride you, damage. Yeah, you take three pride damage. Okay. <laughs> did, I did, shake my it, head. Did Felia just TP laugh? Alright. <laughs> Before we proceed, Branya. Hmm? Do druids have anything that can help with sickness or such? If I can take a rest, yeah. Okay, because I'm still paranoid after that disgusting shit we had to go through. Uh, first moment we can have a long rest so you can prepare that. Let's take it. Sounds good to me. Does that sound good to you, Belxis and Hygric? Belxis is going to make a perception check. And before you do, I need to AFK real fast. Okay. Mm. Wait a minute. So okay, that door kind of kind of closes shot. shut behind you, and it's kind of loud, and she kind of droops a little bit, like, mm, you know I'm that that not has so happened. A, that has hey happened guys. a couple times, right? Yeah, but we're entering a new area. Mm. What's the bell? I just realized. Mm. How are we gonna get back out? We weren't gonna go back out the way we came anyway, because of Spider Lady. Yeah. We're just gonna yeah. have to way through it. Uh, perhaps the Fae will be able to help you with that. Or maybe it'll just make them even madder, and because you, cause you do so well with their dark counterparts. Big drones. I mean, uh, not big drones, you drones. I loathe to ask the Fae for any sort of help. Tends to come at a heavy price. Although, uh, from what I understand, this place up ahead isn't exactly fairy or the never never. So. She's gonna insight that. Okay, I... so. Uh. Ronya waves. Hi, Druid. Yeah, but she's gonna insight that, like, uh, problems with the Fae before. She's gonna insight you and she's gonna. Hey, stare you. Oh. Your lips look awful chapped. You want to help with that? I'm back. Well, I'm back. What I miss? You know, like, there's like dead skin flaking off around your lips, young man. Me? Mm. No, no. Talking about you. <laughs> Ronya lip licks his lips. Yeah, they are hard and cracked. Manya takes out one of his good berries and just kind of rubs it all along his lips. Kind of like lipstick, like... Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, it flakes off, and it's a bit a bit fresh. A bit, uh... It's a, it's a wincing sort of feeling. I have to, like, refine this, but it makes for decent chapstick for now. Hold on. What kind of roll would I make to see if that looks familiar to the undead we just killed? Uh, I mean, intelligence check. <laughs> nope. Look, he just is really shit at moisturizing. <clears throat> he has oh. no. <laughs> <clears throat> I just need to get some beeswax. All right. All right, but. Still, I'm gonna advocate the moment we can rest, so you can get that spell up and ring. The better. Yeah, th this this is just a straight up stairwell that leads up about uh, 80 feet. 
It's got about 40 steps to it, and... Why do you uh, actually look at the mushrooms covering this there? Like, what, are they, what are they, anyway? They look like... Uh, sort of like, uh... Not table mushrooms, but, uh... <coughs> and not morels, but, like, very... Fungi, like, uh... Remember the mushrooms in the Super Mario in the Super Mario movie? Yeah, the ones that they fall on in like the pit, where like they kind of stretch across like a trampoline. Yeah, I see. They, yeah. They're, they're kind of like that, just coating the sides and like the in betweens of the stairs. We should watch the Super Mario movie. We should. <laughs> I it's think good. so too. Goodness. Uh, Ronnie actually looks down at this mushroom and like kind of uh, crouches down and looks at it. Hmm. Can I roll a nature check? Sure. Ron just scratches his head. I'm just gonna throw this out there. Even if it looks stand like a standard ass mushroom, don't risk it. Twelve. Yeah, you think the fact that there's been so much death and destruction down here, these things have kind of thrived on it. Are these things different from the ones inside here? Yes. Um, oh, can, okay, I to, to can I attempt to gather them? Gather a few. Well, it's kind of like like I said, um. Not the single mushrooms, but like the big fungal, like the fungal, it's like, more like they're, they're more like a fungal network than anything else. They're more, more like they're not just single mushrooms. More like a membrane. Yeah, like a membrane. Okay. But I'm well, sorry, a fungus membrane. That's what I meant to say. Well, I want to see if I can collect a little bit of it to see if I can study it. All me. right. Uh, but but that's survival check. Survival check. Okay. God damn it! I will survive. Any oh god, bear thing. back again, nature calls. Go for it, man. Run. So, call it. So yeah, you, you managed to pull off uh, a good uh, six inches of membrane off the off the wall. That's like one of the extensions. And you're like, okay, there we go. It's a, It doesn't react when you pull it off. Just like sort of detaches and like it sort of like softens. Like it was very sturdy once it was on the wall, but now it's sort of like softened a little bit. All right, I'm going to wrap this particular specimen in parchment and use a little bit of my rope to uh, to secure it. So yeah, can I make an intelligence I... check on it to identify it? You're just going to wrap it up. Uh, uh, intelligence check, then wrap it up. Yeah, either nature or intelligence. Okay. Uh, I think they're uh, staring at the, the part where he cut off, and he kind of has a little itch in the back of his head. Yeah. Okay, yeah, these these... Mushrooms are white as bone, but that well, they're 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 more bone colored than white colored, as you would think. So yeah. Biggs raises up his left hand and he tries what? to repair. I mean, not Biggs. Uh, Rania. Ah, excuse you. The campaign they're fusing uh, together. Damn it. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Rania raises up his left hand and he kind of like lifts it over to the spot where Bundle like chopped off the mushrooms. We tried to use a little bit of his druid craft to make it grow back. Um, Arcana with disadvantage. Oh boy. Ah, it's a seven. Yeah, you Aww. try, and it grows like a little bit of like a <laughs> nub, but you don't have that much experience with with mushrooms. More you think about it. Well, you know, let's try and. Um, he just mutters in druidic. I tried. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So yeah, uh, this is still a long, uh, eh, it's about 10, 12 foot wide stairwell, but there's still only about 40, 45 steps up onto the next passage. So, uh, Hygric and Belk's looking around like, this is not very defensible. I think we try and rest here. We put ourselves in danger. I agree. Well, let's, let's push forward then. I agree. Up there. Let's go. Did you have right. something to say, Rabbit? Nothing, really. Okay. I had something to ask the two of you uh, once uh, we're at the top of the stairs, actually. You just seemed mildly anxious, that's all. I don't oh. really care. Wait, are you talking to me or on you? Uh, uh, Belks is talking to you. Are you talking oh. to me? Uh, uh, sorry, it's just that... <sighs> Being underground's never easy for me. It's okay. You two will end mm -hmm. up down here after in about uh, twenty or forty years. Smiles. 
<laughs> I mean two. I'm going to live for at least two more centuries. Fell la uh, fell laughs uh, laughs at Try, that. Trying to recoup your uh your heritage. Good luck. Nah, I still have another eighty days before I drop dead. Okay. Uh, I assume we're we're walking up the stairs as this is happening. Yes. Cool. It's a slight curve to it, just slight enough to where it does manage to have like a slight ninety degree turn as you head up. And I quick need to. As they're climbing up the stairs, um, uh, Ronnie's uh, gonna like try to talk to Belksis and Hygric actually. So, oh, was that the thing you guys? Is, uh, that chased you guys out last time. Big, scary, and wormy. I was not down here. Hygric was part of a group. But the way he instinctively reacted to those things, I'm pretty sure he did not plan on meeting it again, but I guess you were relatively prepared. Hmm. So, uh, would you say that uh, you may have been a little bit incorrect with your previous statements? How uh, we weren't ready? There's yet to be seen, young one. Uh, Rania points back behind him. You wanna you wanna check our work? Like, uh, I'm pretty sure like there's not enough of uh, those things to make a stew out of that anymore. By the way, marching order. Uh, Talek uh, up front. Talek up front. He, he does have the highest arm in class. Bundle should probably be behind him since he has the best eyes. Alright, well. Nope. Nice. can be in the back then. Yeah. What, what? I, uh, I, I was actually hoping to try and be in the middle and have two armored guys and two, two armored guys in front and at least one in the back. Okay, you can be in the I'm back, sorry about that. Welcome no back. problem, we're just deciding marching order. Uh, Talek demanded up, yeah. be up front. It was, uh, in the restroom, then I heard what sounded like a kid in distress. So I had to go oh. outside real quick. Oh. oh. Kid in, kid in I think it's on, the, it's somewhere, it was somewhere towards our neighbors, and it sounded like people were trying to, I hope, So yeah, marching order I have so far is Talek, Hygric and Dash, uh, Bundle and Rania. So, oh wait, uh, fellow's attached to Dash, isn't she? I mean, she, he can, uh, he can, uh... It's up to her. If she wants to be let down, he'll let her down. Bell and Dash are now conjoined to win this. <laughs> Christ. <gasps> Take a shot. So what I have is Talek, Hygric and Dash again with Fell at the back. On Dash's back, uh, Belksis in uh, bundle, and then Ryan, you're taking up the rear. Mm. Yep. All right. So you get up around uh, towards the bend. I need everyone to make perception checks. Here Ooh. we go. Here mm. I go, perceiving again. Mm. One for the money, two for the show. Huh. That's One for the eighteen. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> okay, then. All right. It is finally back up and running. Thank goodness. Here we. I think so. I think they managed to help that kid. I don't hear the meows anymore. So. That can be. Either be a good thing or a bad thing. It didn't sound like they were trying to hurt the kid. It sounded like it was a kid. The meows were like the type of meows a kid would make when it's stuck. So Hygric like like steps on one of the gems and the, this. Like, you no, no, step up. The campaign pawn. So going back to those checks, <laughs> basically going up the list. Uh, 
Hygric outright steps on like a, a pointed stone on the floor, like. Mm. Mm. Dash again. You notice this, like, ooh, that looks bad. Uh, ba da ba da. Bundle and Rania, you guys think you hear shuffling up ahead, but you're not sure. Fellow Kaiba, there is someone up ahead. You're hey. sure. Uh, Talik, you hear mutterings of Elvish up ahead. Hmm. Wait. There's someone up ahead. Yeah, and uh, Belxis shakes her shakes her head yes, and does like the throat cutting motion. You're gonna die. Mm-hmm. Pulls out his bow. Dash will put Feliana down by, down behind him and draws greatsword. She will get a, and she's gonna get a spell ready. It's time for that magical time of the year stealth checks. Oh no. It's the oh. most Do I have this soul? You even have asking him, fine. Uh he Dash can assist you because he's carrying you or assisting you, right? Wouldn't I mean, yeah, I guess he'll put his great sword away and put her back up, so he'll assist. How do I explain this so that I have advantage so, myself, Chapter? Does Fel roll with stealth, or do I roll stealth? With... How does this work since I'm carrying You both about? roll, and basically whoever has the higher assists the other. Alright, here we go. Falling, not me! <laughs> it's me! Yes, you. <laughs> we are the least stealthy. What are no, we Pawn, uh, we are currently not? playing D&D Souls. I'll post it soon, hopefully. Oh yeah, I think you forgot to change the change the thing for Twitch. <laughs> no. Mm. One oh. just scratches his head. Well, no, because we're not we're not back yet. Uh. I haven't sh- I haven't shown you what's new either. Ha! Ha! Okay. I'm oh back. God damn it! And that natural twenty on the other side. Okay. What well, what's going on here? Wait. Okay, that makes it a nine. Uh, Talik, how long have you been gone? Uh. How long have you been gone? For a while now. Oh, God. Okay, so basically, you, Nat 20 done perception, there's mutterings of Elvish up ahead. Oh, great. And the sounds of, like, bows and foot... uh, The sounds like footsteps and bowstrings. Hmm. And I can't roll stealth because I'm wearing chainmail. No, you and... can. You just have to roll a disadvantage. Yeah, and I so think you have to. I have to. Ooh. I said stealth checks. Ooh, yeah. So give us that stealth at disadvantage. Disadvantage. I'm going to have to find a mom with that which will allow me. And I fail. I'm in the same boat as mm. again. Just uh, paint fell. your armor black. Okay, so. I see a white rabbit. I want to paint it. Okay. So, you. Uh. We fail horribly. We're all Yeah, um. The silence stops because you hear a harsh, like. Of sorts. Do I hear that? Yes. Do you speak Elvish? I yeah. speak Elvish. Yeah, I do. Yeah, those of you who speak Elvish, you hear, like, someone... Someone in a Oops. guttural... A guttural, yet refined growl. You say, silence. <coughs> Did we all hear that, Elvish? Yes. Dash, you're just going to quietly comment and comment because you're not. What the fuck? Why is this not working? Since we're already found out. Alright, so roll initiative. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> boy. This is mostly for interactions, but remember to click your character and then, uh. Oh god, don't let fellow. <laughs> Thank you. For oh, that. My god oh. damn it. <laughs> that, that 20 has cursed me. Mm-hmm. No, it's just life evening it's evening itself out. <laughs> what goes up must come down. It's an omen, I say. An omen! The bunny dies first. Fuck 
you all! No, it's the bard. You finish your drink. <laughs> And how did you know I was going to get a drink of my coffee? <laughs> Fuck, she's, she's watching. She's sure. watching you right now. <laughs> oh, I hope not, because I'm half naked right now. Thank oh, you. God. I'm, I'm completely naked, naked right now. We did not oh, need to know part. that. I yes, that was, uh, that was information we neither needed nor wanted. I'm shutless right now. Please I'm stop. <laughs> There is actually a miner in the room, Talik. Yes. Faithful. Poor Faithful. How dare you. Alright. So. Okay. So. So. Yes. Stay wild and listen. My boy. Ah, Jesus fuck. This is jazzy as all hell, though. Yeah, this is very jazzy for us, considering our situation. It's like, I don't know what I would have to do. To do. I guess it could be battle music? No, this this is not battle music. Yeah, it's not exactly battle music. Could be... I don't know what else to call it. Where are we? Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let's zoom in on that ass. So, that is, those uh, are. Ahead of you, you guys spot three drow, one of whom is dressed in robes. The other two are just wearing, like, leather and carrying scimitar. Oh. Carrying, like, short bows. Uh, hand cross and hand crossbows while Ooh. the one in the robes is carrying nothing. We just lost our initiative. Oh, oh yeah. shit! That's gone. Yeah, I, I think I was either 13 or 14. I was 19. Uh, you're 14. I, I remember Bundle Mine Roll is still 20. here. I, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, keep I'll keep telling you. Because I've got it. I okay. rolled that bloody yeah, you, you can't You can't scroll up. Oh, derp, I forgot that was a thing. <laughs> Should we roll again to no, get no, us No, no, no. I I I no, no, because I've got it. Okay. okay. It's still it's still up on my. I don't know what happened with you guys. Yeah. I think it was cuz we are on the other screen still. So, the initiative order is uh for talk first or what? Shift still got a That case, bundle gets go first, yeah, which is good. Yes, he speaks Elven. And Undercommon. And, uh, and hopefully he speaks Undercommon? Yeah, okay, so, uh, yeah, Bundle. There are Drow ahead of you. Um, as a free action, can I do a perception check to see if they are armed and ready to attack us? I don't, you don't even need to do that. Yeah, they, like I, I already told you, they, the, the, the two that are just basically characters... They are. Oh. Yeah, they are carrying poison. They're carrying hand. They're carrying hand crossbows as well as uh, short swords. They've got both drawn. All right. I draw back my arrow, <coughs> and as a free action, I want to see if I can just uh, call out to them in Elvish and say halt. State your intention. Uh, there's a pause from from one of the uh, drow warriors. The one on the right sort of snarls and gets a sneer on his face. Meanwhile, the maid sort of politely smile, like uh, grim, has a, this, this grim smile on their face. It says. What brings you up here, surface dweller? Still have the bow drawn, aiming it at, at well, towards well, towards the, the group. Though they'll just see I'm aiming at it. But um, I looked her and say we are on a quest to seek the uh, an audience with those that, that live within the Vale Keep. Hmm. And 
advice and why should we let you through to speak to those most dishonorable most stuck up brethren of ours because well, we considering that we do have we're here to seek a Seek the reason why a keep carrying account test was suddenly popped out of existence from where we from where we hail we ha hail from. Sounds like something that you you guys have already had the, the dealings with these these particular peoples. And if they're doing the same thing to to us they have done to you, then pretty sure we at least have a common enemy that sounds like you care too much about about matters that are not your own surface dweller and with you she has a point well, what can you say curiosity kind of is a thing of ours he says as he flicks his ears I wonder if she'll actually have knowledge of that. Hang on. I gotta roll something. How dumb is this woman? Roll for cat ears. Yeah, um, yeah, she... She kinda furrows an eyebrow. Like, she's not familiar with the expression at all. Uh, have, you, have you never heard of a cat? I've heard of cats. Well, then, have you heard of the backseat? He says as he steps forward. So she can get a better look at the, it. The the two drow with the hand crossbows just point angrily, like, and the mate and the maiden like, mm -mm, like, waves the hand like, calm down, calm down. She stares into you, like, oh yeah, she's seen Tabaxi before. She's like, I am quite, quite familiar with the type. You who stalk the canopies and steal what you can and run away. Uh, We've had a raiding party of your actually before. Mm, ouch. Although they met although they met a very sticky end. Very This is still this is still an element. Yes. Rodney hears all of this. It's like sitting there. Mm. I oh, look back no. to Rania. Can you relay any of this, please? Oh, okay. Uh, he begins to uh, silently translate uh, all of what uh, is being said into the party's head in common. You can only do it to one person at a time. Yeah, I'm doing it to them in turn. Okay. As uh, this is happening. So, seeing as how we don't speak, we're at least on speaking terms, I say, well, now that we've had a chance to talk and see that we are clearly not necessarily at, at odds with each other, might we have a chance to parlay? Hmm. I say as I lower my bow and undraw the, 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 the arrow back. Still having it in my hand, but as a token to say, okay, we don't have to fight. Hmm. Uh, persuasion. Terrible. Come on. Come on, you can do this. God damn it. Nope. Okay. God damn it. That's not bad. <laughs> oh, okay. I kinda wish I had time to go poke, uh, poke death, I mean, um, bundle, but I, I don't have any access. Right. It's, bun it's still technically Bundle's turn as well. Yeah, so. I know. All right, so she looks you up and down. She looks back at the crew and sort of like narrows her eyes, but crosses her arms, sort of and like 
Okay. I see no reason why blood has to be shed yet. Bumble then looks to the party and says in common, lower your weapons, we're going to parlay. Dash, you could, I th assume, is still carrying Feliana since he picked her back up for that stealth check. Yeah. Yeah. Felt I don't have a weapon to drop, Bumble. Fell dispels her spell. You know, was it, Dragon Man? I have a question. Yeah. I also have a question. Can you ask if they speak common? Uh, maybe. Um, uh, outside of, uh, uh, out of character, what was that town that, uh, uh, Dash really wanted us to get out of? For a long time? Trut. 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 Yeah. I feel like I was getting roleplayer cabin fever there. Yes. Uh, uh, did this lady look like the same Dark Elf that was from Trut? That's a good question. Uh... Insight. Can hmm. I roll insight for this as well? Because I was actually curious about that. Ranya scratches his chin. Ooh, I don't need to scratch no chins. Mm -hmm. I see. Um, Ranya, you look at this woman and this maiden, and you see she's not ancient, but she's very wizened. Like she's actually got a few like gray inlined wrinkles toward her temples. She's been around. And this salt and pepper styled hair caught inside Ooh. this like chiffon colored like robe. So uh, she's different. That doesn't answer my question, but all right. She's older, much older. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, so she's not the one from Trek, because I think I remember the one from Trek was pretty young. Yeah. Which, I one, are you, which one are you referring to? The one uh... when we when Bundle was gambling. Oh, the gambling. Yeah. No, no, no. no. Yeah, this the is, one that this one's quite... was planning on hitting on. This one's quite different. Okay. So at this point, I pull away my bow, string it around my back, and look to the others to see if they're putting away their weapons as well. Ryan didn't have his weapon out to begin with. Fell reluctantly d uh, dispels her spell. Dash just stands there holding Fell. Looking at Hygric and looking at Belxis now. Hmm. That means you too, by the way, Talek. My mace has been on my hip this entire time. By the way, what is this room made out of? Uh, this, uh, this place is made out of, like, <laughs> harsh orange clay with occasional hmm. little, uh, useless salt, useless pink salt crystals hanging out. It's fairly jagged and kind of, like, not in impassable, but it's very, very obstinate looking. Mm. Ronya pokes the ground with his foot. Is this soft clay or hard clay? No, it's hard clay. It actually mm. chips a little bit. Like, it's brittle clay. And it was oh. very roughly constructed. Hmm. Ronya kicks a little harder. The drow yeah. maiden walks forward. Alright. So... Who am I to be addressing in this situation, Mr... Uh, he... He, uh, coughs and states his name. My name is Bundle. Bundle of Arrows. As, as silly as it sounds, there is a reason for it. Mm. Um, as for my compatriots, he says as he look, looks to everyone else, um, and just... Uh, well, I don't know, out of character. Would it would it matter if I gave names? No. Yes. Dash still asked if they could if he can ask if they can be common so we can all understand. This is true. Uh, and he looks as for my other compatriots. They are a bit behind in the conversation. Perhaps we can speak to speak in a uh, more common dialect. Perhaps common. Well, Ronya has been relaying all of the information at hand to everyone else, but his cat has been taking a little bit of time. All right. All right. Now we're back. Did did she say that in common? Yes, she said all right in common. You. One moment, gotta. Where are you off to? Uh, 
you know, Dash just immediately says a thank you, like, oh my god, finally. Meanwhile, uh, me in, like, uh, uh, the corner of the room, uh, the small halfling with the owl mask is, like, trying to, like, wrench some of the clay from the ground. Like, eh. Sorry about that. Uh, so, she says, all right, in common, and points points back two fingers to the her assistants, and they like look at each other, then slowly lower their weapons. Like, mm -hmm. Damn it! So, if I may, ma'am, uh, I this is the second time I've heard of your, I guess. Uh, other uh, other side of the tracks that have been treating you un unwell, I should say. Gonna, what they do you? gonna say, not even gonna allow the chance of a late of a, of a woman to of a drow maiden to give forth her name. Oh, you uncouth fiend. Yeah, sorry. Proceed. Runya actually approaches and stands next to Bundle. He bows uh, to uh, the drow woman and uh, uh, gives his greeting in El uh, Elven. Hello. Rania, please speak in common. Uh, uh, yeah, I, she's speaking common. Uh, he, yeah, no, uh, he, 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 Dash is asking Rania to speak in common yeah, because in character um, he is fed up with all the non common. Da um, Rania looks back over at Dash again, just saying hello in her language. Oh yeah, sorry, I'm just really tired of not being able to understand what's going on. Calm your scales, barbarian. Okay. <clears throat> trouble so on you... the trouble on the home front. Uh, bickering here and there. It's normal among group where all are equal. Uh, it's uh, it's it, uh, it makes for more lively conversations between people, but it um, does. She starts tapping a finger ways, on her arm. Yeah, it is some ways uh, more simpler when there is a higher. Our communication skills suck. She much. and your manners need some work. Are you talk oh, who are you talking to with that? Yeah. Um, da Dash, Dash was saying Dash was explaining that was saying that our groups No, 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 no. no. I mean Rania's last statement. To Dash. Anyway, mm -hmm. the the drow maid the drow maiden takes a sign and is like my name is Zinnily. Hmm. Zinnily. Zinnily. Zinnily Um, can I roll to know if Rania knows what uh, Drow are? Uh, oh, I thought you were going to roll inside what that name means, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I'd like to roll that as well. Uh, considering yeah, those of you with uh, Elvis knowledge get to roll intelligence checks with advantage. Everyone else, uh, intelligence disadvantage to try and cool. understand. I still if... have guidance on me, so yeah. That yeah, doesn't matter. That doesn't matter Here we go! And that's a 12. Oh, I accidentally clicked the uh, uh, advantage. Damn it. 12. Okay, so I got a 9. That doesn't give me much. God, my rolls suck! Always. Campaign hates me. The campaign doesn't hate you. I'm the barely sure the you. campaign. Alright, so no one else but Bundle gets it, so uh... I roll relatively well in the other campaign. Oh well. So, uh, now, now, let's keep it to this one. Uh, so, uh, Bundle, mm -hmm. you recognize that name as meaning one who takes, one who takes, uh, pleasure and joy among disease and ravaging, as well as a friend to poison. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh lovely. Someone I need to talk to. <laughs> so she. She may have more fun to the room behind us then. She point. She points to the elf man. This is this is my protege, Silas. Good to meet you, Silas. Nice. Silas pays no attention. He's busy like 
like uh, taking you. care I... of his taking care of his crossbow. A pleasure to meet you, Silas. He's just like rub rubbing its side while looking at you guys. I imagine he's like the angsty teen of them. Hiya, pupper. A pleasure to meet you, Zinali. And, uh, yeah, that, that survival check earlier, yeah, you kind of cut your hand on the clay. How did the hell... Uh, you just do. It's brittle and hard and just cracked, so... But Zinali approaches slowly and looks the crew up and down, sort of, just keeping your fair distance of at least five feet away. Comes to Belxis. He's like, hmm, a thief. Joyful. You going to attempt to plumb the depths yourself? If I can, perhaps. Hmm, that is cute. Very cute. <laughs> uh, moves back up along. Hmm, a Drakenbjorn. Haven't seen one of you down here in ages, not since, say, the Blight. The Blight? Dashing and asks, tilting his head. Uh, yeah. intelligence check. Yeah, d Did I also say, that? Actually, yeah. No, let's see. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. Twelve. Uh, Bundle, you remember Gemlasas mentioned the origin of this place was it was a kobold shrine before there was an an infertility blight or curse placed on the shrine and the mountain itself. Uh, mm, okay, then. <laughs> Arnie has mm, no idea. I worry about his children in the future. She mutters. Wait, whose children? He's not from here. Yeah, I'm. I'm from the east. Yes, we are still passing through a place with a with a dragon beer and curse blight on it. Shit. Uh. But anyhow, um, so are you here to negotiate your way through? If only to, if only to keep, keep from making a mess of, the, of of us both. She looks at you up and down. He's like, hmm. I take it you survived your encounter with the spawn. Oh shit, that brings up a question. You don't by chance know a uh, spell that can deal with stuff like that, do you? Spell? Like, just with sickness or whatever that thing was all about. Sorry, I'm just being real paranoid after that. I'm sorry, uh... I'm sorry, novice. I am uh, mostly built to defend rather than uh, protect, should I say. So that would in turn make you a guardsman, a bundle says with a raised brow. You could say that. I'm very much. I'm very much. all about my position at the moment. And currently. And currently, I am just uh, biding my biding my time. Hmm. But anyway, to business. So you want to get through to the Fake Keep? This is true. Why you would want to take up time with them for some ridiculous countess and undoubtedly surface dweller politics is beyond me. But. We must get to, to, to get to the point. So anyway, here's the thing. I have been posted here to make sure no one gets to this place alive. But you are the first ones who encountered us who actively wanted peace before you passed through. Mind you read his hand. Yes. Placed here by who? Not the Fae. She narrow. She kind of get. You kind of get the feeling she's glowering at you once you mention the word the Fae. Do you seem to not be very fond of them? You'd be wise to not speak about them in uh, in any of our presence, young one. Uh, to be, uh, to be fair, to, uh, we tend to remove we... digits every time you we do it. It's not. like a swear <gasps> jar. Rugged <Run your laughs> nods and uh, think for a moment. Hmm. Then how about we call them 
the sparkly ones. I was gonna suggest why not just call them assholes, because they sound like assholes. So everything I've heard about them. Assholes so, at least have a use. So, uh, ooh, God. That's, that was pretty good. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> she she points to the to Daz and like I I think I'm starting to like him. I think that's the surface dweller term for it, right? Yes, yes. it is. Well, okay. To uh, to to uh, I, I think. Oh, I'm starting to like this woman. All right. Then perhaps we can come to a deal. Perhaps. Uh, so basically, we live up in up in the roof area. We have a little uh, attic system, so it should be of this. But we have to keep patrolling to make sure the uh, giant spiders, the, uh, the the cave fishers, and uh, there's occasionally a saber-toothed tiger and a chimera that wanders through. But we haven't seen them in a while. And you just have these guys running through? Something? Yes, it's it's an open cave. There is an entry. There is an exit up ahead. That I just things just keep wandering that, into. Oh, well, at least at the very least, you don't need to deal with whatever that zombie thing back there was. No, anymore. we have something worse. <coughs> oh boy! Well, well, of worse. course you do. I like worse. By the way, Camera, wasn't that the thing that you ran into through. before? Ben? Uh, tell me, you two who know our kind, are you from? Uh, actually, it's uh, dancing everyone. Are you familiar with with a zombie holder? A zombie holder. What are we on? Oh, what? Oh, ho, 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 ho. out of character I am. What do we roll? Uh, intelligence. Okay. Apparently, uh, I am. Ronnie scratches his head. <laughs> God damn it! Okay, so. Do, 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 do. Oh, that, that, that. Jesus Christ! Okay, so yeah, Bundle and Dash, you've heard of Beholders. You know what the undead and zombies are. You're kind of. Uh, Bundle's like, whoa, those exist. Dashkin's like, oh boy, do those exist. Fell. Yeah, Talik and uh, Ryan, you guys are kind of scratching your heads. Like, did, did she just. Did she was she still speaking common there? I, I couldn't hear that. No, Talik's got more like zombies. Fucking zombies. Great. No, like yeah, but Fell. You hear a zombie holder. And you remember that there was a a tale spun one night in your family home by like a wandering bard of a a lord beholder who was cursed with an undeath with an undeath blight and he spread his curse amongst the underdark to where now you know there is actually an undead there are such things as undead beholders and you're surprised you didn't think you might encounter one coming down here in the first place probably uh, because yes. no one had ever oh. gotten this far before supposedly ah yeah. <laughs> uh, yes a zombie beholder Ace. Zombie uh, Holda. Uh, zombie Holda, sorry. Uh, uh, apologies. <laughs> Ronnie, what are you the doing? One, the, the one who cast the, uh, uh, the curse of the undead uh, here in the Underdark. <laughs> that is uh, one way I'm, to put it, yes. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm surprised that we, uh, that we didn't run into one uh, when, when we came down here. That is because really it is current. That's because it is currently guarding the iron end. Mm. What's the iron the end? Iron what? <laughs> there was a mine at one point in Stilton here by uh, our crew, and we ended up finding a nice bed of aluminum and iron and even mithril. However, mm. something intelligent and brutal got a hold of said knowledge, and did held a little coup of its own. So, actually, we technically can't exit. Because there is an undead being with the ability to shoot to shoot rays at us. Now... And it's in the exit to the Feywild. It is based... 
It is basically yes. It is in the the passageway in between the exit. It is in the exiting like foyer, basically, and we can't exit. We've tried. We've sent dozens of scouts. But perhaps we can come to a mutual agreement. If you can destroy the zombie holder, we will consider letting you leave here alive without too hefty a tribute on you. What if you don't contribute? I'm sorry, she says toll. Like, a toll. Since, after all, we can't just let you pass through by yourself. We need to take some sort of formality. It's it's just a formality. You understand, right? Bundle, you kind of understand that elven interactions do require a slight tribute or this, as a formality. It doesn't have to be that much, but it has to be something. Is this because it's considered, it's considered uh, rude otherwise? Uh, bundle, no. Eyes and set. And, uh, thanks for a moment. Well, I suppose you, you do have a a uh, point there. Then again, without your help, we wouldn't have known what. Yeah, I don't think we can necessarily help you because, as I said, we have to guard and just patrol. However, if you do want to try your suicidal time at the zombie holder excursion in the Iron End, feel free. Do you have somewhere we can rest first, by chance? Mmm. The good little boys and girls and cats. At least somewhere we won't get jumped by the local undead fuck. We do have an alcove up ahead that I guess we could hide you in. As long as my superiors don't find you, you should be fine. So as long as you don't do anything stupid. Hmm. Looks to Raya. Gaston yeah. looks to Talek. Look, Fel looks to Raya. <laughs> I, did. I don't hold the crown of stupidity anymore. What's the stupid thing I've done so far? You've done that a couple times now. Oh, as long as we can get rest so Rania can use that disease spell or whatever on us. So what would, con what would be considered a proper tribute then? Hmm. Well, if you've got jewels or perhaps some magical items, I'm not too interested in gold. I'm more interested in material. And Dash no, little one, I realize you're a druid. We we've got plenty of fungus and branches of our own. We don't even need branches. Do you know what trees grow underground? That's right, none. Dashkin I... pulls out the dove ocarina. What about this? Rania uh, takes out his good berries. How about these? We've something that you don't have, probably. Mmm, we prefer a feast to a single berry. I mean, like if you could, this? if you could cook, if you could cook for us, perhaps. What do you think? I'm but, actually a fairly good cook. That, do you have enough is... to feed two hundred? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, I myself, boy. no. But if you have a place that uh, the you uh. Uh, do you guys do agriculture down here? Okay, first like, of all, she's okay. going to turn to Fel and say, What are you offering, young one? Well, I'm not sure how, how your relation is, uh, is with, but I do have this. She brings out the elven harp. Come on, um, don't kill me, don't kill me! <laughs> um, wouldn't you prefer to have that yourself? I think we determined it was just a really nice harp. Damn shit. Okay, um... So... She looks at it, and I kind of peek. She's like... Purses her lips together. Interesting. That shouldn't... Hold on one second. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. So, so she cocks an eyebrow, pursed her lips together, and and approaches like, hmm, hand that over, young one. I I must examine it. Nash, uh, may you set, uh, can you set me down? 
Yeah, Dash will set Feliana down while still offering that dumb ocarina. Hmm. She uh, she goes over to uh, to uh, Zinli, uh, uh, being careful, not to uh, not to, you know uh, seem like a threat or anything. And she hands her over the Elven Heart. To be fair, with a crutch, Feliana doesn't really look that threatening. <laughs> to be fair, with yeah, Rose. so she. She takes she takes the harp from you and just examines it and hmm hmm she breathes on it and it gives a slight little shimmer even in this dark light. Oh, by, by the way, who has a torch? Uh, Does anyone have torches? We have, we have a dash again. <laughs> I don't need them. So I don't have any. I was gonna say those who have dark vision could see this clearly, but everyone else is kind of floundering. Uh, unless Hygrim just pulls out a torch and is like, oh. Like, oh, my eyes. <laughs> so, Hygrim lights up a torch and the two drow boys, like, ah, like, averting their eyes. She, she almost acts like she's got lenses on. Like, just, hmm, how irritating. <laughs> but she examines the harp even closer, like, hmm, this came from a treasure trove. Interesting. Oh, well, we can accept so this. We can accept this for half a tribute, perhaps. What else do you have to offer? What Couldn't... about this ocarina? Mm. Can I can I try something? Sure. Come on, Bard skills. I made for the. Couldn't you accept this as a full tribute? It came from a treasure trove, of course, but. He was one of the most Persuasion disadvantage. in there. No oh, shit! <laughs> Run you and tap Feliana's tail. She is very <laughs> stern about this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. But I can do it, I can do it. Oh, that 29. Oh. Roll that d4? Come on. Oh, d4? Oh, yeah, I, I love a d4. I better need it. That's a 16. <laughs> Yeah, she's she's sort of like, mm, I understand you may be broken and hurting. Wait a minute, you ran into Lilquishai, didn't you? Mm. Wait, please, please don't tell me she's a friend of yours. Ah, uh, she has her own faction, but you pissed you pissed her off, didn't you? Yeah, we did. Points to the cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a point of bundle too. Well, that means Remember we need to make. I... That means we need to make reparations now. God damn it! Okay. Remember when I said our communication skills suck, and how I I was asking if you guys could speak common. We yeah, also have to talk about throwing each other under it. wagon. Yeah. Anywho, I want to enroll insight as to what she means by she has to make reparations. Sure. What she mean? Give me. You get the feeling that even though she spun out into the court of a rogue faction, there's that that Zinali and Loquai are at least close, if not amicably, then probably pl platonically slash personally. So it's sort of like they might just be in a mutually beneficial relationship, like mm. uh, sort of like relatives, maybe. Okay, well, cousins. Seeing into that, Bundle's going to inquire and say. What do you mean by reparations? She looks you up and down, looks at your bow, like... How much damage did you do to her? <laughs> um, did we do damage? He did literally nothing. Okay, but I'm gonna roll something right quick. I don't think we... Like yeah, what? I mean... <laughs> what were you rolling for? To see if he was gonna lie or not. <laughs> but you don't lie and tell you did a whole bunch of damage. Hey, it is what it is. But he's going to just say, explain what happened, and say that yeah, I. It wasn't my. It wasn't my my uh, most glorious moments. Hmm. You got spanked. Well, you don't seem to be too much too hurting. I mean, 
I mean, except for the druid, who is obviously useless. I mean, he's he's just got twigs and berries out out the gazuha. So for all we know, he's just a walking, talking uh, herb herbalist stand. So we don't really think we can find anything on him. We'd need. Underneath right. the mask, Rania is smiling. <laughs> Dashie, it's still offering that ocarina. She looks at the ocarina and is like, Mmm. No, we don't have many needs for surface dweller things. But the... But the, uh... The souls. Those... Th this treasure could work, but... I think this only covers a third of what we'll need in order to cover reparations. Mm. So we require up. at least something magnificent, or at least two moderately good things in order to cover us. Preferably magical items, or... Like activities or like you want Wait, some card? hell if you hell if you give us if you give us one more thing that we deem worthy as well as defeat the the zombie hold um uh, perhaps we can cut it there. Uh, she uh, perks up. Uh, do you like games? <laughs> what do you mean by activities? This seriously, she's gonna insight that. That is a fourteen to read you like. Uh, she looks at your hands, looks at your tail, like... We're not big fans of tricks, or trick artists. No, 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 no trick, just games. What What do you mean by activities, though? Uh, like, say as up what my card said. No, no, we mean, like, labor. Labor. So... For example... Getting rid of the zombie holder. Well, then that should be enough as it is. We're already taking care of a monster. Perhaps, uh, perhaps activating all the traps in here and getting and getting it safer for us. Oh, so you want <clears throat> us to do more? On your blinks. If you can, if you can get me to a point in the room where Tell I you can what. see enough of the room. If you can activate every single trap in in this causeway, as well as defeat the zombie holder. We will only require a bit more tribute after this. Like, one more item. Uh, Fel takes worthy. out... Uh, Fel perks up. I have one more thing. I don't know what it is, though. Never did take time to examine it. And she takes out the box of animal figurines. Oh, no. Okay. Alright. She's no. gonna make an... I forgot she had that. Okay. We all do. Until it actually is useful. I actually think <laughs> I might have an idea of what that thing is. That thing could be Oh, weird. I have a complete idea, yes. She looks at it. She looks at the turquoise box and opens it to find the glass. The glass and rock figurines. Like, hmm. <clears throat> Charming. Charming. Where's Fiddle. Fiddles with one. Hmm. Puts up her ear and shakes. Gives it a squeeze. I think it's very fragile. I'm not quite sure what fragility would help us down here, though. Is it magical? So, uh, if I look at Dash, I have no idea. Yeah, that's why I'm asking. Probably to someone, but not to us. Ah, uh, fair. Was, was, uh, was enough. I tried, though. Well, then... I don't care, too. That could be more than the best for us if she doesn't care. I'm gonna do something right quick. One moment. Bundle goes over to Belxis. Do you have a dagger? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I'm gonna make a trade with her for this. He says as he pulls out his Electrium dagger and says, I just need something to have on my person just to fight, so if you don't mind. I'm pretty sure she only has two, doesn't she? I have a dagger. Uh, yes, yeah, she only has the one dagger, actually, but she's like... <sighs> Fine. No, wait. Hold on. I have a dagger I'll, too. I'll add it to your to your running 
inventory you're writing itemized. I'll add it to the invoice. Hands over a dagger. Alright. And. Alright, I, I nod to that tanker. Move back up to the uh, draw, draw Maiden and hand, uh, hand out my Elytrum dagger. Will this suffice? She kind of scoffs at it at first, but notices the pearl, the, the dark pearl embossed handle, and like. Huh. Yes. Hmm. Perhaps we need to. We will take time while you are doing your chores to examine this, and deem whether or not you need to tribute more or not. But I guess that makes good for a partway passage. All right then. Follow me. She turns around, and the two so much depth. And, and the two the, the two drow stand up immediately and prep their weapons. She's like, mm 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 mm. Hold on, hold on. And she says in Elvis to them, keep an eye on them, but don't fire unless I give the okay. She Did she tell us to follow her? Yes. Yep. And I wink at one of them. <laughs> he blushes. Ah! What? <laughs> yeah! <Okay. laughs> well, whatever. Congrats, Red. <laughs> I agree, fuck this. One second. Uh. Hmm. Mundo waves his hands. By the way, you said there were traps in here? Oh, yes. Many. Hmm. Who placed them? Ah, uh, the masters. The masters? How much of a tribute would it be to uh, tell you where these traps are? She wants us to take care of them, Rania. Okay. She okay. said this. Sorry. Nah, yeah, whatever. Forget it. Have fun doing your check. So, she plows forward about, uh, she plows forward deep into the cavern, like, dum to dum to dum Just something walking? Yep. Is Talek here? Okay, I, was, I wasn't saying his icon moving. She points to a little sunken alcove that de that delves a little that delves a little bit downwards, like about fifteen feet, but it's just shrouded enough and has a few cobwebs and cri just salt crystals hanging from the ceiling. And it's like, ah, uh, just try and rest up. I think. Uh, watch out for the for the tigers and the chimeras. We'll uh, be sure to watch out for that. We appreciate we appreciate the help thus far. Sorry, that has to talk with my grandma. It's okay. All right. So here, okay. <laughs> yeah, I moved you up. Oh, nice. Thanks. <laughs> Seem to be missing some party members. A uh, high Greg. Oh He's yeah. Working on it. Sorry. It's okay. You're good. Oh, we're on ya. What? I don't know how to ask this in character. Actually, Dash was going to ask if that cure disease spell can be cast as a ritual. But I don't know how to have him ask that in character. Mm, uh, no. Ah. Hold on, let's see. Let's see. 
All right, so it was me, Rania, Feliana, and who was the fourth? Who was the fourth person who got hit by worms? No, it wasn't me. I dodged him. And I don't think Belks is guiding me either. Was it Talik? Nope. I know four of us he, got hit by was worms. Feliana. Yeah, no, I included her. I said oh. you, Feliana, me. Was the was it? Did Hygrid get her hit, hit by worms? No, Hygrid never got hit. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he was mainly playing, uh, like, uh... He was mainly pulling a vanguard on that battle. Um, yeah, I, I specifically I, I remember that. Fel, I think it was Fel and Rania. Well, no, I got hit by worms, too, when the thing exploded. Yeah, because I think it was Bundle... Bundle, Belxis, and, uh... Hydra and Talik, who had stayed behind and managed to not take the brunt of the explosion. Okay, so it was just me, Rania, and Feliana then? Yes. Well, that's who Dash will say to use the cure disease on. I can't do it yet. I know, I mean when you're able to. Which is why I want us to take this rest. Oh, uh, Dash looks to... I'm already forgetting her name. Let me scroll Zanilli? down to find it. Zanilli. Should we go ahead and post watches to be safe, considering the tigers? Hmm. If you want. We Probably we not. we. The only stake we have in the game is potentially getting our our exit open, so we can actually go like harvesting again. But eh, up to you. Do you mind if I ask a question before you go take a round? Sure. Um, that name of yours, you wouldn't happen to dabble in the harmful arts, would you? <laughs> well, I do occasionally, uh... She's gonna roll something... <sighs> yeah, she's like, I, I occasionally prepare poisonous and practice the art of harming others very often. Perhaps we can work out a deal further? Sure. Maybe later. Okay. Fair enough. And with that, she yeah. says, yes, try and be quiet. I don't want next shifts to find you and kill you and then I have to come back and clean you up. That would be really, really unimpressive. I don't want them questioning how you got past me. We'll do our best. He says as he makes his way to, to his companions. Mm hmm. Although, when she leaves, I'm gonna set up a trap. Out of character saying. Okay. Wait, doesn't Talik also have lesser restoration? Not prepared. Of course, not prepared, but he can. Alright. What I wanna do is. Um, when she does leave, I want to see about making a tripwire from here to about, well, to the, the corner of this stone to the, to the corner of, over here that will make it to where if they trip the wire, a few, mar, few of my uh, ball bearings spill out onto the floor before them. Okay. And by a few, I mean 1,000. No, not that many. <laughs> a hundred will do. A hundred thousand. You know, <laughs> all of the ball bearings in the world. All of them. Just, Just a, them. an ocean of ball bearings. I guess I've had to draw it. Oh my god, I have food. I haven't had sustenance in... How many hours? <laughs> Three hours! 
<laughs> no, actually, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one o'clock in the morning. Uh, eight hours. No, wait, no, wait, I counted wrong. Nine hours. There we go. I am sick in the head. <laughs> well, that happens. But I have food. So... Did someone else want to ask her something before she went away? He's a lily. No. no. The only I, I have thing of... the only thing Dash would want to ask is not relevant right now, so I have something. So Nelly, you mind if I ask you something? What do you need? This Zamba Holda. Does it have. What do you know about it? Do you know any weaknesses? Any thing it has? It's coated in chalk, so it's hard, so it's hard to grab a hold of. It reeks of slime and death. It mm. occasionally fires rays of disintegration, and like it's really tough. Mm. This will be fun. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright, with that comprehend how to fight something like that. And with that she disappears around a corner and it's like Alright, keep quiet now. Alright, so you guys wanna take a long rest? Yes. Yes, yep. yes but first I'm gonna set up that trap, then stay over here. Talek mentions out, I just feel that we just walked right into an ambush trap. What do you, what, what exactly are we supposed to do about it? Sounds like we are going to be dealing with this no matter what, but. And to be fair, if she wanted to kill us, she could have tried right then and then. Hey, why is there a charisma saver? I'm sorry, I was trying to move something. Okay. Ignore that. I was like, okay, what happened? <laughs> Anyway, let's try and get some sleep. Honk schnoo. Alright, two's taking watch. I'll take first watch. Dash will, Dash will take third watch. I'll take second. Should have written this down. Trying to think of what spells I need. Anything good against, uh, aside from the lesser restoration, anything against disintegration would be lovely. I don't have anything against something like that. I Honestly, have I have no idea what the hell Brett's thinking about putting up against something like this. I have something. Because I know. Feliana has something. What do you have against that? Uh. Shit, never mind. I don't have anything. <laughs> Shit. Thank you for that. I mean, I was gonna uh, suggest this spell magic, but then again, it does not work like counter spell. Counter, counter spell. Yeah. yeah. If we had yeah. counter spell. Uh, I got nothing. So, uh, since I've uh, pretty much said that, I'm not. I'm gonna try my best not to out try to outthink the DM. I'm just uh, gonna go at the thing and probably die in the process. I don't know. Well, I know what spell I'm getting. I'm getting when I uh, one of the spells I'm getting when uh, when I become a when I get to level three. Mm. Because apparently I cannot learn this spell. All right. So remember who's taking watch again. Fell first. Fell first. Bundle second. Dash third. And I'm just trying to figure out. Alright, and uh, Belksis will be up to wrap it up. So, first two hours is Fell's watch. Uh, Alright, roll perception? Yeah, you just crawl up. It's sort of like a little, like, little hillside is you're on. It's just you have to crawl up a little bit in order to check anywhere. Because you're literally like down in like a sunken like 
sort of like a like a ditch of sort, but it's actually got like an alcove to it. Oh. Nice. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Proceed me again. Oh. I can Yay! Alright, it's very uh, strangely f like you hear flappings occasionally, like something with leathery wings in the background, like probably a bat, because it is a cave after all, but um and there's just really awkward wind blowing, even though you're pretty sure there's not really an exit that close. That's kind of weird. And yeah, it's fairly standard. Not much is happening. Mm. Well, with, with her watch coming to an end, she goes over to Bundle. Bundle, it's your turn. Yeah, yeah, okay. Wake up, Catman. Yeah, I'm, I'm away. I'm away. He says as he meanders towards the, the, the mouth of the, the well. And now, I sleep. And rolling up. Yeah. Ow. Oof. Roll a five. So that's a ten. Hmm. My passive perception is better than that. Well, uh, you're well. This is an active, active perception check. So, you yeah. go up, and it's just fairly eerie. You're, you're not really comfortable in the underdark bundle. It's just not really your thing, especially after getting your, your tail handed to you a couple of rooms back. Yeah. Yeah, after a couple of hours, nothing really happens. You as well hear occasional wing flaps, but it's like, hmm, all right. Determ determining how by the sound, can I tell how big they are? That whatever. Uh, intel <coughs> uh, intelligence check. Okay. Well, those sounded big enough to make a loud, clear noise from a couple of rooms away. So interesting. Curious. Uh, it's unsettling. It says Bundle as he finishes his watch and goes over to uh, Dash and nudges him. Uh, I'm up, I'm up. Alright, up and at him. Going back to bed. He says he goes back to his corner. Dash will hold position and keep watch from where he is. Alright, uh, perception check. There it is. Twelve! Yeah, it's just... eerie. I'm not a fan of the Underdark too. Just not your thing. Watch passes, no problem. Yeah. Dash goes over to Valkyrie's and wicks her. Tag, you it. Goes back to sleep. Alright, she Tag gets it. it. <laughs> Tag, you it. Immediately falls like the family guy. <laughs> yep. In fact, that's exactly what he does. Yay! <laughs> he is exhausted. Ooh. Oh, so that's what she was talking about. I'm sorry, I'm reading over my spells. Jesus Christ. So yeah, she does something. I just feel like an idiot right now because... <sighs> Apparently, I forgot to write down the things that are in this room. So I've got oh, no. to roll up some stuff. Mm. Wait, did uh, Drow Lady ask me to make food for them, or, or what, what was up with she asked you basically if you could make a feast. I apparently can. I was unaware I could do this. Well, she's now. gone, so... Uh, well, I, I can't do it, uh, but, like, now. But... All 
Alright. No one stone has that really been very useful to me. That. Well, um, you have the spell magic, right? I do. Okay. So I don't need it myself. One of you having that still might not be a bad idea. Quiet you. If you're to get constantly just telling me one thing or another, give me a reason why it would be a good idea for me to have that. Because I... Arca you could roll a really good arcana and dispel the zombie holder. Are you kidding me? Have you seen my rolls? This game hates me. I don't think Condor Animal will help me much. Weak Prince would definitely not help me down here. Windwall might. <coughs> Jesus Christ, I'm dying again! Stop it. No! Stop it! No! I just realized something. My danger sense gives me advantage on spells as well. For dexterity saves. Good job. I'm trying to read that face. Small animal defying defeated all the material with the arrows, bolts, and the ability to lock some. Are deflected and automatically missed. Cool. So if we are ever like shot at by arrows, this would really have to fell. Um, the boulders you see, which is just nothing for magic. Um, hmm. What kind of damage is disintegration? Death. Yeah, instant death. The sweet death release of death. No, Come really. to me. Not. Okay, who do you guys I'm, bet is gonna? I'm yeah, dis to... disintegrate legitimately just instantly kills you. Then how the fuck are we supposed to fight this thing? Don't get hit. Also, who do you guys think is gonna uh, is gonna is gonna get hit first? Who, who do you guys think is gonna get hit? You. I knew it. We're taking bets. <laughs> Pond, who do you think is gonna get hit? Honestly, I'm betting on a party wipe. The thing is an oh, come on. <laughs> I know what that means. So unless Brett nerfed it, which is unlikely. This thing is gonna kill us. Alright, so... I finally reconfigured my own damn dungeon, because I'm a fool. You fool! Stop reminding me! Ah, oh, so that's what that does. And that's up to 90 feet. I don't have any rotting eggs, fortunately, so I can't use that spell. Damn it. Alright, so... Belxis finishes her round, wakes you all up, and is like, It seems we have something to deal with now. Oh, I'm, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I gotta fix your voice. Yeah, it seems like we've got something more interesting to deal with now. Great. As in something new again, or what? No, just I have no idea what we're supposed to do regarding that thing. Well, if we want to get through, we'll have to go through it. 
It sounds like we're going to have to deal with it no matter what. Well, no, you, uh, uh, well, I mean, you know about Buck, right? What are the chances you can sneak past it? <laughs> do what? What am I? Oh, he you asked were... me. You, you know about Zom behold, uh, behold that? And that. What are the chances that we can sneak past it? Uh. <sighs> Intelligence check. All right, here we go. Why do I need you to be the sorcerer? On the sorcerer and the wizard. Never mind. Um, it has eyes. You know, it shouldn't. It's not too big, but it has so many eyes. That's the thing. Belks is just kind of like, all right. So basically, the plan is. Wait a minute. Didn't you set up a trap up ahead? Points to bundle. Yeah, cool. Alright, um, um, uh, Rania takes out, um, the, the Yule branch he has and he uh, starts making it grow with druid craft. Uh, toss me five of them if you can. He does so. Thank you. It's gonna be one hell of a. Detect, uh, uh detect poison disease on, uh, the party, by the way, if you can. Uh, do it as a ritual. Um, how many do? How much do these leaves weigh? Nothing. They shouldn't weigh a lot. The leaves. Wait, you got you leaves or you branches? They're leaves. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're I'm, they're negligible. I I am going to be casting detect poison and disease in the in a ritual form. Click it. Uh, okay. Well, at least. Okay. Well, maybe we can hope that this thing doesn't have death ray. Hey, hey. So, right? um. DM, can I try to grow some of my spell components? To grow? Uh huh. They're plants. Underground, no. They need sunlight. Super. Then my spell list kind of uh, is diminished somewhat. Sorry, man. I'm just looking at the look at like, yeah, right now it's it's not that great. Sorry, I'm not I'm not trying to pick on him. It's like, yeah, logistically yeah, I know. it doesn't work. Uh, it, it is, uh, I get it. I'm just power fucked. Eh, it'll get better. Not if I don't survive. All right, so bundle. Belks just looks at you. He's like, you're gonna remove your trip line up ahead, right? Uh, of course, otherwise I'm out a few ball bearings, he says, as he undoes the trip wire. What well, does Talek, does Talek oh. pick anything up from his spell, though? So, Talek, you... Um, by the way, shouldn't we eat something? I would assume Dom, Dom, Dom. you guys did. Yeah, I'm going to uh, get into my uh, explorer's pack and remove one ration. What does Feliana eat? My ration. Not a better berry. The mm. better berry, I mean, of course. Mm. It, it technically is a ration. How many did did she have any left? I have three le left. Ah, two you now. More better berries than because, I because. Yeah, I haven't been eating them. Not I still have nice the bear. one Branya handed me. Cool. So just in case Branya can use that, uh, use this one better berry in the pot and have it grow a little. Featherberry bush. <laughs> like I said, I'm saving. Uh, I'm saving two of these for when I get the hell out of here. Hey, changing Feliana after that betterberry. So one more. Uh, give me a second. I'm pulling up my notes. It does not. My computer is not want to multitask, which makes me angry. Grr. Uh, uh, it's a berry. 
Oh god, I want food. That's that's what Fell's feeling. She's still kind of I'm too good for berries. You know what berries are for? They're peasant food. I'm not I'm not stuck eating this peasant food. <laughs> How dare Don't they? Eat. Okay, now what does Talik pick up? You guys better be careful if she finds the Okay, species. so Talik, um... Yeah. Up ahead you feel nothing. Around you, you sense... You sense that there's, uh, basically... Hygrick's got a lung condition. You can tell that. Enough. Where, like, you look into his lungs and you just see black. And it's just, ugh. Like, if you, if you, it almost looks like his lungs caught fire or something. Meanwhile, Belksis just. Belksis seems to have some sort of blood disease. Where, like, if she gets cut, she probably couldn't stop bleeding. Is she a, uh, well, a helophemiac? Uh, yeah, there's no other disease around you that you can see, except for Rania, who's... You know that something's wrong with him, but you're not quite sure what. Pawn suggests we seduce the Beholder. Christ. I can do you it! Take three shots! Yeah! There. Oh, boy. This is gonna be a long night. Mm. What's up, Talek? No, I was just out of character, out of character. Oh. Do you let do you let people know they're diseased? Pardon me wants to, but I legitly just looked at everybody without even with having permission. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Shoot. I forgot their names now. I know Ronnie's name, but I cannot even remember the other two. Helps us and Hi, uh, Tyler looks at Hydric. Hydric, uh, Hydric. you might want to have your lungs checked out, man. They're black. Ha Belksis comes up to you like, he knows. Okay, that's good. Uh, did you know you have a blood disease? Yes. Alright, Rania! Mm -hmm. There's something fucked up about you. Thanks. Wait, Wait, no, you. no, no, not that kind. I'm talking about this. You have some kind of disease I don't recognize. Well, you don't even know if it's a disease, just something's off. <coughs> like, there's almost like a blur around him that you just can't quite get, wrap your head around. There's something with you that I just... It's a blur. A complete and utter blur. Does it seem recent, or been there a while? DM? Uh... You can't tell, honestly. I... Talek shrugs, shrugs, I am sorry, but... I really can't tell. Ronnie shrugs, and he... brings up his hand. He lets the out a sigh, and he concentrates on his left hand as he places it against himself, casting Lesser Restoration. Uh. Alright. I'm guessing the rest of us are clean, Talek. I looked at Liliana. Anything? I'm waiting for the DM. Yeah, the rest of them are fine. Hi, Liliana. You're fine. Still looking beautiful. Dashkin, you're good. Damn Still right. Rough. Still scaly as usual. And Bundle, <laughs> you need to clean yourself. Your fur is a bit filthy. What? Alright, but Get to all in all. Everybody's good. Just Ted looks at the. Uh, I'll be done preening. Oh, well, yeah, but just be careful of any sharp objects. I don't want to lose a friend. Duly noted. Okay. 
So we've got to explore this place for traps. That's part one of our agreement. We have that handy dandy ring that Glad Bundle didn't show. But remember, we have to trigger them all. Uh, we have to either disable me. them or trigger them all if they have ammunition. Uh, just leave the triggering to me, Talik holds up his hand. I have a habit of running through traps. How about we try not to blow ourselves up? Bundle says as he say, says it's probably best to find them, trigger them from a distance. Agreed. All right. All right. So she... Belxis, one big cut dead in one of those traps. Belxis is I'm going to... You're the most likely to be in the trap, Eliana. Exactly! I'm the trap detector. <laughs> All right. Belxis is getting kind of lost in the Underdark. She's like, Okay, we've got multiple directions to choose from. We can go south, north, west, east, which I'm pretty sure is where we're going to run into the bad news, but... Yeah, what do I know? Run the yawns. Bad news aside. What about up north of us? Uh, well, I guess we could. I'm not so sure. I'm just... I'm kind of done with tricks and traps for a while after this. Is there anything we can roll to figure out what, which direction, where the cardinals are? Like, figure out where north is? Ronya takes out a torch. Like no, she's just like, well... I think that way's north, I think. And she then she points to like north east south. Like although I think we've uh. got south we're gonna have to watch out for our patrol. Hell they're gonna have to watch our patrols anywhere we go. <laughs> this is true. Cause she's probably not still on shift. Quite a bit of time, they probably would have switched out people, but yeah. so chances are, uh, don't go back to the entrance. All right, now at base, I'd say let's check out the area up north of us first, and then we see about going elsewhere. All right, you want me to lead? You want to lead, or do one of you buff boys want to skirt ahead? Hargrip's like, hmm, waves. Hi. Oh, That's my dad. Can I share some info my dad just gave me that might be useful for everyone? Or would that be metagaming? Your dad? Depends. Yeah, he Direct message me it. Your dad plays D and D. So did my dad. My god, this game is almost 40 years old. People before us yeah. played it? Yeah, my dad's a gamer near, dude. Um, yeah. My dad played this when he was a fifth, uh, at the age of 15. Intelligence check, Evan. <gasps> Boy, howdy! Oh, boy! Oh, god. I'll let you decide. Oh! I just realized something, guys. This might be good for you as well. This is good info for Feliana, Talik, and Rania. Mm. We're going to be going up against an undead beholder, right? Probably. Yes. Healing, if you can spare them, healing spells hurt certain undead. How do you tell which undead get hurt How by those? How did I forget that? I'm a bloody paladin, I should know that stuff. I'm not sure how you would tell, but it's worth a shot if this thing is true and I'm dead. Run your shrugs. It gives you guys more ammunition against it if it works. I have a stupid idea. What would happen if I threw my bag of better into its mouth? I think it specifically needs to be healing magic, sadly. Yeah, like divine <laughs> healing magic. Because that would be... Just, if that that worked, would be pretty great. I'm not gonna lie. That would be amazing. <laughs> if that, <laughs> that would need to be a 
stupid shit my players say type scenario. <laughs> I swear to God, if that worked, uh, I have 180 good berries. <laughs> they all do one healing. That would be pretty amazing. Thing. <laughs> Pull them down. All right, so you, uh, bundle like dogs like. So we're going north. Yes. Who wants to take point? Uh, bundle has bundle has the ring ah good point well I could always step in front of bundle and bundle could look through me uh, bundle take point me Talik and I will be directly behind you shrugs I guess that can work as long as I'm killed in the process you set the pace we don't go ahead of you it goes for everyone. I slip on the x-ray ring. And... <laughs> I get to this point and start looking forward, seeing if there are any traps ahead of me. Use the arrow key. Okay. And I get to. This direction. Uh, it only goes 15 Not feet. 15 feet? Okay, this direction. Run your poke. Uh, nothing. Oh. Alright. The ring Let's does do nothing. Let's do a dance. Do, 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 okay. do. <laughs> the goggles! The goggles! They do nothing! And I look again. Same 15 feet. Dance it. Nothing. You kind of got out there. I'm nothing. Okay. Nada. I get to here and peek around the corner. Bundle, the radar cat. Alright. I'm just imagining Bundle being one, uh, like one of those do uh, dogs at the airport. Mm. Alright, you see bundle holes in the walls. Holes in the walls. They're filled with snakes. Where? Okay. We just narrow here. shafts. Narrow shafts? Okay. Now I'm actively looking for trip wires or pressure plates. You don't see any. Okay. Well, that'll be an investigation check anyway. Don't see any. Don't see nothing. Roll that D4. Where do I see exactly the holes in the walls? Uh, ping it for me. Like, uh, do 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 do. Oh, okay. Ronnie and Munchers on some good berries. Thinking that they kind of look similar to ball bearings. Hmm. The goodest of berries. I think good berries would be bigger than ball bearings, actually. Like they a plum. Be... I don't think they'd weigh as much. So, yeah, there's just a. Uh... Yeah, there's just a few narrow shafts in the walls from where you can tell. <coughs> Well, bundle's gonna get on all fours and move ahead, but still looking to see if there's gonna be something that's going to to press down or do any any type of strange movement as he moves. Oh no! Seeing if he can get lower than the hole. Sleight oh, no. of hand with disadvantage. <gasps> Eighteen. Damn. All right, you maneuver and macabre way, and as you get to here, you stare and you do notice it's a slight like here the the crisp the salt crystals are faded and kind of cloudy compared to the creo crystalline type things you've seen earlier. It's like, hmm, that's interesting. Another investigation check. Rangi prepares one of his spells just in case. Yeah, that's just oh weird. Oh my god! Like, why? Why is? Why are these so oh different? Like, besides the shafts in the ground, is it is it like pumping in carbon monoxide? What's going on? Well, I look over to Belxis and call her over and say, and motion as, "What is this?" Hmm. That's right. 
since I got canned, I've got to reopen their character sheets. Do it, man. You can do it. I'm going to. Anyway. Good. Great. So, she, luckily she has a plus something to... Oh, hey. Uh, she looks around and is like... I don't know what you're freaking out about, really. Oh, no. She got a nat one. Fuck. Uh, seriously, what the hell are you looking for? I point to what I'm looking at and say, that doesn't look like odd to you. What specifically you're pointing to? Are the shafts, the, the floor? The shafts in the, in the wall. Why are you staring at it? They wanted to keep their canaries alive? What oh. do you want from me? Yeah! <laughs> I just need where you all fail. Alright. Uh, Rania, you do notice one that there is. Like. Where is it? Little. Braces here and there that look slightly discolored and almost mobile. Kind of like when you see an interactive texture in a video game. Oh. Or, oh, or in a cartoon. Oh. Mm. oh, you know, they're like, why specifically this book? You know, because it's drawn out of the, uh, out of the background. Mm. Um, let's see, do I have anything that can be thrown? I have a dagger. We can throw the halfling. You can point it out to them. Mm. <coughs> you point it out to mm. Bundle and Belkis, they still don't see it, like, it's the floor, I don't know what you're talking about. Bundle, roll your uh, ball bearings, will you? Actually, take a step back and roll, roll, roll your ball bearings. You two belts. Nothing happens. And nothing happens? Oh, okay. Nothing happens. Hmm. Hmm. Run your um, uh, hands, uh, 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 hands, uh, bundle one of his, uh, his dagger. And tells him to throw it right here. Roll the hit. Bundle picks up the dagger, looks to where he's where he wants him to hit it, and throws it. Really? I mean, it's not bad. Ain't good either. Could be worse. It's a stationary object. It smacks just a little bit shh, a little bit in between like right there doesn't exactly puncture any of the proper place just like funk. like hmm messed it by that much Beliana come here for a second uh Alex walks up with the stand up can I give it a try no Fell uh Fel comes up what is it Mind, um, uh, uh, mage handing my dagger and stabbing this point? Can I see the point? Uh, investigation. Alright, here we go. Here we go investigating again. What point? <laughs> yeah. Fucker. <laughs> Alright, I'm point? starting to get annoyed. Mm, I can I, uh, I can make flowers grow from a distance, right? She'll just. I'm going to tell you right now that won't do anything. She'll she'll get the. I just want to in indicate it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Um, Arcana check. Yeah. Okay. With disadvantage Rania. because you are underground. Yeah. Uh, huh? Rania scratches his head. If you're trying really hard to do it huh? without sunlight. Oh. Uh, ta 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 ta. Oh, that's a twelve. You, do you, you start some ground shifting a little bit. You can see it, like you can see something start to poke away through the clay, but now it's just a little bump. It, it doesn't quite sprout. I don't care. Um, uh, Bundle, do you see that point? Feliana, do you see it? Investigation with disadvantage, both of you. Oh! <laughs> they saw it move. Okay, Bundle, you see a mound where that you don't think was there before. Shoot uh, it. Oh. Did, you, did you make an? Can't heal. Mm, uh, um, uh, uh, Feliana, mind stabbing that point with the dagger? Do I see it? With your I mean, I see it. No, oh, do I see it? 
Uh, no. Okay, uh, Pelion, uh, can you mage hand my dagger back to me then? Okay. She gets a mage. Uh, she, uh, does a mage hand, grabs dagger, takes it back to Bronya. Yay. Can okay, fun to shoot the thing. Uh, I'll try, he says as he pulls out his bow and fires. Oh! No shit. Oh god, the music! <laughs> I'm sorry, when, but when there's a sudden change to boss music, you gotta see that everything is to shit. And everybody loses their shit. <laughs> <laughs> we all lose it. <laughs> I hope everyone still has their masks on. I do. I still have both my masks uh, on. Okay. So yeah, you manage to puncture it, and as you do, arrows shoot out in between <laughs> the shaft. Cool. And then Bundle looks over the belt and says, So, nothing to worry about, huh? I just said I didn't see anything. I didn't say nothing to worry about. Uh, Bundle, shoot that point again just to make sure that it's not going to reload. Probably not a bad idea. He says as he knocks another arrow. Ooh. You you kind of shoot straight instead of straighten down, so it just flies off down the cavern. Oh, wait, 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 again. Hopefully it doesn't hit someone. Ronda raises his hand. Uh, never mind. Oh, I hope you're keeping track of your arrows. I am. All right, yeah, that uh, one sticks. That one sticks the the plate into the ground. It just keeps cycles through oh. about like twenty. 22 rounds of arrows until finally it stops. Wait a minute. Jesus! These... Wait a minute. I have a question. Are these arrows sticking to the wall? Uh, some of them, huh. yes. Yeah, Eliana. I was gonna say, Bundle, Bundle might be able to get shit in this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eliana, you mind, uh, you mind helping out a little bit? How do you want me to help? Uh, mage hand as many of those arrows as you feel like getting. How many arrows are there? Uh, the wall. He said twenty. I said twenty rounds of arrows, but oh, how many is a round of arrows? Jesus Christ! Only thirteen arrows are left in the wall. All right. Uh, <laughs> how much a mage hand hold? Ye a mage hand can only pull five to ten pounds, but you have yeah. to put use pressure and force to pull them out. Right, and Mage Hand cannot provide that. Oh shit. How about Vine Whip? Sure, but you I might just might you might break them. Yeah. Ronya, use It's not worth it. I have like two quivers full, I'll be fine. By the way, Brent, I mean... uh, uh do you consent to me having this um kind of home brewed uh uh cantrip? What home brewed cantrip? This weaker version of Thorn Whip. Fine. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I think we talked question. about this a couple weeks ago. Quick question. Can I see down, completely down the shaft? Yes. Sorry. Fine whip. Wait. It's not supposed to be able to cast at higher levels. It's just a cantrip. Sounds like someone didn't finish it properly. Mmm. Mmm, yes. yes. Oh, well, whatever. <sighs> Oh. Okay, so I um uh, I uh, cast that on okay. as many uh, those uh, uh find as many of those uh, arrows that I can get. Do I have to roll something? Slide a hand or arcana or something? Mm, you have to roll the hit. Make a mm. melee spell attack. That's what it's it says. It's not an attack spell. Or rather, through uh, Druidcraft, make a melee spell attack against the creature. Ah, okay. I forgot to edit that out. Damn it! Oh, it wasn't supposed to be an attack. It's still a, a sub sublimation of of thorn whip, so it's runs using the oh, same mechanics. The... God damn it! You gotta put the damage on. <laughs> no, it is to roll a hit. Uh, it's not supposed well, to produce what damage. Exactly okay, um, just uh, make a ranged spell attack. Uh, your, plus your spell, mo uh, a d20 roll plus your spell modifier. Okay, d20 roll plus my 
uh, spell modifier, which would be the six. Yes, I should think so. I don't know. Six. No, no, not six D. Six. Ha! That's an eleven. You pull two off the wall, but that's really all you can get without attempting to without attempting to do a mass pull and attempting to break all of them in one pull. And if we can, the arrow, uh, he if we can, the arrow step bundle and uh, he points over to here. Shoot there. Actually, uh, uh, can I try Jude Craft again to uh, kind of show him uh, where it is? Sure, where Arcana. Uh-huh. Disadvantage. Hmm. Ron just scratches his chin as he looks at the spot. Yeah! That's a 12. You don't get and... Ha! Huh. That's a 13. It doesn't have to be good. It just has to be there. One plus six. Where did that come from? Uh... Wait, oh! So... Uh, forget the plus six. It's just a plus one. Yeah, just... Uh... Yeah, a small, like, dandelion just appears. It looks fairly weak and anemic. Cool. Uh, shoot where the dandelion is. Pretty question. What Try not to shoot the dandelion. What? What exactly is down here, now that I can see? Just the end of a tunnel. But Why nothing... are we doing this? Just nothing in particular. Yeah, just like the faded salt crystals and uh, one of your in the one arrow you missed. Mm. Well, oh, yeah, am I maintaining that arrow down there? It requires pressure. Oh, it's stuck okay. in a wall. Could I just leap over this? Like it's, it looks like it's obviously hitting hitting something in the, sure. in the floor. We're supposed to clear the traps, aren't we? Wasn't that the job? Activate or disarm. I'm trying to see if there's something on that other side that might disarm it. Ew! That's a lot longer than I thought. Yeah, it was still dark. Okay. <laughs> Run your um, pokes, uh, bundles, calf. Okay. Well, now I'm trying to see is there a way to make this stop shooting? Well, the, the one directly in front of you is stuck fast due to your arrow. And it, uh, and it seems to be cycling. You can hear like just a, like a stone, like, like it's trying to cycle through arrows, but it's out. Okay. Well, then I'm gonna fire at the next one and wash, rinse, repeat. Can we just break the wall? You just ricochet off. That one sticks though. So that one, again, starts cycling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 rounds of arrows pass through, leaving about, uh, uh, 5. Leaving five arrows stuck in the wall that just barely missed the, uh, the emptying holes. Run your bind with them. No, no, oh! No need... Okay, yeah, you, you, you pull back, uh, you pull back, uh, all six. Uh, all five, all five arrows. So how many arrows and you pulled all together? Yeah. Uh, I believe I got, uh, three before, and, uh, now I got five. Plus eight. I believe that's it for this trap. And that's it for my quiver, he says, as he holds the one free arrow that won't fit. Do we want to try to, now that it seems like it's safe, gather all the usable arrows? Uh, I don't think Bundle has room. I, I'm holding the only arrow that I can I cannot put in my quiver. <laughs> I mean, Belxis goes ahead and picks up, like, a couple off the wall, like, funk, 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 and grabs, like, four more. So I was just like, no, this is all I can carry. Oh, no, I but... thought you were saying your quiver was empty. No, my quiver is full. It's... Oh. It, both my quivers are full. Oh. Well, well, shoot. Okay, then. Yeah, we're, we're done, done here, then. Quick question before we meander, he says as he moves down. What was down here to even worth being guarded in the first place? No, it was just a dead-end trap. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Weak. 
<laughs> use it as a move back. Because the only thing so? worse than wasted time is wasted time with a bunch of arrows in your body. I suppose so. Wise words, I guess. It's mutters, Belxis. Uh, Alright, so... Now remember... Yes, you didn't get off! Hey, you're the one who moved into me. Get your Colossus dragon tail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fat dragon joke right now. <laughs> no, I was about to. Then I was feeling it's, the, it's the little one and joining us. It's half, oh, half breed. <laughs> it's the little one joining us. <laughs> Rania. You there, Rania? Your your microphone sounds like an old Atari game. Eh? And what behind it? Uh, there we go. He ninja AFK'd. Yep. I, I said it'd be right back. We didn't hear that. Yeah. So totally you, your microphone went very Atari esque. Yeah. So Belks is gonna scout ahead. Like, okay, I think we need to try and be stealthy now. Not a bad idea. Say as I attempt to go stealth. I have a question. Do it, bundle. What's up? Um, would we uh, would we get advantage if uh, nothing could hear us? Hmm. Yes. Cool. So I'm going to ritual cast silence on. Uh, it's only on a my... set area. It doesn't travel with you. It doesn't? I no. thought, uh, oh no, that's Cone no. of Silence, isn't it? No, yep. silent spells, silent spells stick to a place. They're like, uh, like a sonic mine. Wait, doesn't it also stick to an object? Uh, any creature or object in, uh, da, 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 da. Pin Radius. the spell. Mm, no sound in the deck of fear, on the point of which, okay. So it can't be attached to an object. I thought it could. Hear what? He said ping the spell. Oh. Let me read it. Mm, yeah, it's 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 a sphere. Okay. Yeah, it's not oh. a, it's not like light where you can just attach it to like a guitar and explore a cave with it. I, I could have sworn it must have been from a previous edition, then, because I could have sworn that it was possible to do that. Bear back. <laughs> Am I? Alright. Oh, well. It was worth a shot. Or it was worth a thought. Indeed. Yeah, well. Oh, da, 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 da. Oh, I'm back, good. sorry about that. Good. So, Bell. So, yeah. Um. Belxus and Bundle are. Stealthing and trying to. Are we gonna. So, are we gonna scout ahead? Hi, we are. Which. Where are we. Di which direction you want? East oh. or south? Either way, we're gonna have to run to patrol eventually, so we have to watch out. Well, as far as we know, the troubles are gonna be towards this way. So. Run your. Run your grub bundles lower back. You got this, buddy. I thank you for the confidence. As he fervently resists touching his tail. Yeah, don't do that. No. But never we'll touch the say, tail. Let's watch yeah. our let's let's see to our backs before we trudge along. Alright. Belks turns around and it holds up two fingers. Like wait. Okay, I'll stop. To, to everyone else. Yeah. So are we heading south or west? South or east? Uh, we're heading south. Okay. This way. Um, look about right here. And what do we see?
What do my elven eyes? So what? So you see another passage, and it's just, hmm, investigation. Okay. Investigation. Uh-huh. Damn. Arcane and disadvantage. Wait, arcane with disadvantage? Okay. No, no, talking no, to Brian. Oh, no, no, no. no. Uh, yes, this sir. is my side thing. I'm trying to do it quietly, so you guys can do your thing, and right. while I'm, like, my time will be... Uh, this is 13. All right, so Bundle, yeah, you stare ahead, and you see something peculiar. Okay. You see a patch of clay completely without crystals ingrained in it. I make note of that to, to Belxis and point ahead using, the, using the, the one free arrow still in my hand. Yeah, he's like, all right, she's going to investigate as well with advantage, seeing as you pointed it out, like straight out. Hey, yeah, she's like, that does look like something that doesn't belong. One of these the things other, is not uh, like the other. We're to trip, trip it ourselves. I'm going to wait until they're done with the thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll get back to you. Don't worry, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Hopefully yeah, before yeah, yeah. we wrap up. Uh yeah. Her claws clack a little bit. It's like, oh, shit. She pauses. I wait. I start around for, for about 20 seconds, but nothing happens. Like, okay. Can I roll a perception check? Sure. Please say it would not be bleeding. Yeah, no, nothing's happening so far. Uh, I give her a, a convincing nod, just keep going. So she plows a bit forward and just uh, and takes a look at it and she's gonna rummage in her pack a little bit like hmm no no uh, hmm She's going to take a candle, stick it in a little pot she has in there, and roll it towards the mark. And as you roll it to the mark, it as it rolls over some of the clay, it sinks into the ground and forms a leaves a little hole behind. It's like, hmm. I think we found a pit. So do we trigger it, or do we place like a sign here that's like, don't go here? Mm, I don't think I have the makings for a sign. He says he's looking to pack. I've got pitons. Okay. I've got Don't oil. Uh, I have parchment. Mm, well, if you know Elvis, you could say uh, pits like five, five feet at five footsteps ahead or something like that. All right, uh, he says as he starts to scribble it down in Elvish. And she just takes a piton and just spins it in her hand like a little tent stake. Okay. And I hand her the message. Yeah, she doesn't drop it. So yeah, she takes the message, and she just plants it right there. It's like, all right, seems like that's done. Okay. Yep, you guys managed to sneak back like <sighs> Well, we found a pit and we think we provided adequate warning. But you know, so far only eventful. And aside from uh from uh, that I think we've explored all of this end. I think.
Uh, sounds what like noise. What noise? It's Talik. Are you tapping, Talik? No, oh, no, no. Sorry. Sounds like we should start moving forward then. Carefully, I hope. I have a dumb idea, because I know Talik is probably the least stealthy out of, of all of us. Hey, Talik. it's my fault that I'm not good at stealth. Talik. Jeez. No, it's your armor's fault. But do you mind if I carry you so you don't need to worry about that? Uh, Talik ends up having that. Closes his eyes, gritting his teeth, his ears drop down like, ugh. She's military all over again. We need to be stealthy. You're not stealthy. Yeah, it's because I've been trained to be an infiltrator. I don't... I prefer to enter with a big bang than anything else. That would be bad right now, so... I'm going to piggyback you so we don't need to worry about that. Talek proceeds to climb up onto Dashkin's back, placing both his feet on his uh, belt loop as he held, as his hands held onto his shoulders. And hopefully, I don't need to make stealth at disadvantage while carrying you. No, no, because Fell's still using her crutch, right? Yeah. All right, so she'll be fine. Uh, okay, yeah. Like, okay, and like she looks to everyone else. No one knows like pass without trace or anything. I do, but what? unfortunately I didn't prepare today. Hmm. Okay, very hey, useful. Oh, wow. Uh... <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ, I'm dying. Yeah. Oh, yeah, berries. Berries? Oh, Is yeah. Arcana? Oh, d yes. sorry about that. I, I forgot. Sorry, I was got distracted. <laughs> so, um, Arcana disadvantage. You make two more better berry. You make... You try it a few times. I'll make that like a mass check. You make two better berries, but other than that, the, a couple, actually a few of your berries, you try like ten batches. Only one of them produced a couple good better berries. The other nine just produced like bad, swollen, green ones that kind of smelled deathly sweet. Like uh, yes. the, the kind that you're pretty sure might rot your teeth immediately once you put them in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Did he make poison berries? No, just the just the <laughs> kind that would the kind that would make dentists really really rich. Oh, okay. Um, you just make not okay, so okay, okay. Uh, just to be clear, uh, I have two better berries uh, that I got from that. Yes. And uh, I also got uh, how many of those uh, failed attempts? Uh, oh, uh, you have um, nineteen. Uh, I uh, I made uh, I made a batch of ten, but sure. Uh, you tried uh, on ten berries total. Uh huh. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. You have eight. Uh, eight berries. Eight green teeth berries. Ooh. But hey, two more better berries. These are failed attempts, but I'm still sure I can use them for something. Fell is going to have a of one of the one of the better berries that. Yeah. No. yeah. Oh, uh, one of your own or uh, one that I just made. One of my own. One of my own. Yeah. Okay. Well, I so got now, uh, uh, I got a total of six, uh, two of which I'm keeping as spares. So Peliata's eating okay. another better berry. Anything? Uh, no. another one. Yes. Just. She eats it and her stomach growls like, mm. Yes, I know you hate, but I can't stop eating them for some reason. Just be glad they don't have a lot. Yeah, we'll save. Actually, we'll save, given that your, <laughs> your, your subconscious is actively fighting your conscious. Damn it, Vanya. You just had to say that. No, no, I just realized that, like, you know what? I should actually be checking this. Oh, Ave Maria. Here we 19. Hey. All right, yeah, your, your subconscious is slowly peeking out a little bit. Like, you know what? They're not that bad, but your soul is still like, ugh, no. But even then, it's like, oh, I was like, oh god, I did it again. How many more does she need to eat before the first shift? Mm hmm. So, uh, Belks is like, 
All right, so I think up ahead is where we're gonna it's gonna start getting tricky. Sounds about right. Anyone have any thoughts before we scout ahead? Anybody got a pint? <laughs> if only, not a pint. None here. Belxis is drinking from a flask. It's like mine. Oh come on! <laughs> Run your tap Quiet, dash Alan. again. Yeah. Mm, um, good luck to you. You're carrying the rabbit. Hey. Oh, uh, yeah, I know, I know. Jeez, I get no respect. Right, let, let's see what Belks is in bundle C first. Uh, Belk? <laughs> Go ahead, sorry. No, no, I just want <laughs> I, I'm figuring you're rolling guidance for two. <laughs> But uh, Bundle's gonna look to Belkshus and say five, five silver for a split. A gold. Yeah, and that's just rip off. My, my booze is precious. No, no, my, yeah, my cotton tail is much more valuable. Bundle nods. I'm fine with that. He says he hands her a gold piece. Oh, she, take, she, 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 get, she gives you the, the flask. Okay. I take a good swig. Con save. Oh god, bundled, no! <laughs> oh god, bundled, no! Uh, so have you heard of fire what? whiskey? Oh god. Oh, oh why god. would... I DC'd, what happened? To be honest, I was doing this to calm his nerves. So you know how, taste, how cats well, especially that's... have like specialized tongues that like have like little hooks in them to like clean properly? Yeah. Uh, some of those are duller now. <laughs> oh! And it what? just... It's its so smooth, it, like, rips down your throat. You think you had a hairball somewhere in your gullet, but now it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, you you cough, and some of it comes back up. Like, oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> okay. This is the day I die. <laughs> I... Try to not to gag too much. Hand boxes back the the, the flask. <coughs> cough. Thank you. Uh, how do you drink that? She uh, she makes a ring with her with her fingers, puts it to her mouth, breathes fire. Red dragonborn. Right. That makes sense. Oh my god, my inside. <laughs> Yeah, crimson scale. Yeah, she's resist. She's resistant to fire. Uh, uh, Damn, not really. Mind if I have a dwarf? Uh, mind if I have a swig? Can we? Can we get drunk? One after? gold. Deal. Metallic, Ding. Metallic, what, what can we? Out. Ripping us off. Metallic, shut up. Can we please move on? Alcohol uh, does not do us any benefit. <laughs> well, bone. I'm so I'm resistant to fire. Does that do anything? Can't save with advantage. Thank you. Right now, wait for bundle and Belxis. How's a it fourteen? It's 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 pretty damn smooth. Nice. <laughs> really nice. Thank you. That's takes it. back takes back the flask. All right. So who's taking point? Are we so scouting ahead again, or? I suggest we scout ahead, see what's what we're in for, and then report back. Okay. She's like, Talic, be careful, Talic little one. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what was that? All right. Surrounded by alcoholics. Alcoholics just for taking a swig. Yeah. You can't I, mean, I, I have a problem. When was the last I time? I can quit whenever you... I want. When was the last mm. time you've ever seen alcohol benefit a party member in a D and D game? Hmm. What about my dwarf? He's an alcoholic. Okay. The grog of susta uh, substantial whis whimsy. <laughs> Look, when you have. Dwarf smash, you would know what it's like to be a dwarf. Hey, dwarf. 
and I hate you. Buckle. I swear, fell. I'm trying to wrap this up as quick as possible. The silence is damning. David is there. <laughs> drunken masters, monks. It's true. The drunken monks do uh, do use that. All right. So yeah. forgive the shoddy map making, but okay. Bundle investigation check. Well, actually, you're in a corner, so never mind. Yeah, yeah you're being blocked by a wall. Mm. Can I move up and peer? Sure. That's right. a nice x-ray ring you got there. I still have it on. I never took it off. Oh. oh. What is this? Okay. Uh, you see another alcove. Right. Great. The gems are the the gems and stuff are still all there. <laughs> and uh So yeah, the the salt crystals are still embedded in the clay. Nothing unusual on that front. Uh investigation. Uh, no, thank you. no, never mind, I gave that to Dash. She looks around, looks the ground, crawls around on it. Hmm. Then it stops and like, oh. And she, she like puts her hand out and glances something like she's stroking something. It's like, hmm. Looks up. Hmm. Uh, I can still. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, there's a tripwire that leads to a barbed net. Hmm. Can you tell where it's going to swing out? Oh, definitely. It's going to swing out over this entire procession at least 15 feet wide. Well, then let's take a step, few steps back. Then. <laughs> she pulls out a. She pulls out a. Uh... I'm going to shoot it. Well, no, it's like a it's like a filament wire just stretched across. Oh, okay. That's the that's the that's the trap. Yeah, she pulls out a a like uh, candle holder and attaches a crowbar to it using like uh, using just some sticky stuff she has in her pack. It's like, all right, and then attaches her hempen rope to it and gives it a toss. And as she's walking away, just gives it a pull, and down comes the net. So, that ah, shit. Remind me to pick up a rope, hmm. or rather, um, a net. Yeah, uh, she's like, well, that's. Let me see. One, two, three chaps deactivated. I want to take a look at this this net. Is it still in good use? If I was to try and collect it, well, you'd have to find a way to fold it properly without getting poked. You investigate it closer; it's glistening, like it's got these little barbs and like uh, burrs all over it. So definitely handling this thing would did pretty much hurt me. Well, you'd have to make a pretty good, damn good dex check handling it, either a dex or sleight of hand check to properly use it. Without like poking yourself and risking whatever's on it. Well, then bundles now look at Belxis. Do you think this is worth having? I mean, I do have the room, but I'm. I'm not really in the market for a net. I'm more of just running past and taking care of it. Although, if I was running past, I could net someone and then steal all their shit. Uh. Mm. He just kind of shrugs and smiles. You never know. Uh, maybe after we finish the rest of it, maybe we'll come back for it. Who knows, provided this place doesn't collapse and swarm us with drow. Eh, you're probably right. 
I'm really glad I got Warcaster. All right, so she puddles back, like, okay, and she stops. Like, okay, do we continue talking to them, or do we just scout ahead without telling them anything? Um, uh, I look to Rania and uh, motion for him to come here. Me? Um, relay that we found another trap, and we're going to check that down to the east. He does so to each of the members in turn. All right, should be taken care of. He says he looks to Belxis and motions yeah. towards the other end of the cavern. And with another stealth check. Bam! Marnie mm. walks over to Belxis, holds out his hand. Scouting okay. ahead and scouting ahead. She kind of ignores you. It's like, oh. hmm, alright. Seems we have three options so far. Mm -hmm. now, the moment we get into combat, tell like I'm dropping your ass. <laughs> <laughs> if so I had a crossbow, that would be to, awesome. <laughs> there'd be a point just immediately in front of you. There's another little alcove it seems, <laughs> and there's the rest of the area, which is still dark. And guys, if we hit a risk, uh, rich crossbow for all. Alright, bundle nine and well. points to this way first. Okay. okay. And starts motioning. Is this a pit, or is this... No, okay. it's just my shitty map making. Oh, no. You okay. don't have shitty map making. I'm gonna peek past the wall. Yeah, okay. seems to be nothing. Not going to get too much on it. I'm gonna get over here. But now we will run to someone and peek. Look over on this side. Over there. Now, forgive me, I didn't actually wasn't able to finish this part because I was still using the cheap software. But so basically, there's like a wall of spikes on the wall with like a big old leather strap. Hmm. Hmm. Damn. Does it look like it was a trap that was triggered, or it looks like it's something that could be? Yes. Thank so you. Okay. Now, what about in front of me? Uh, perception check. I can smell the universe. Okay. I can see the co I can smell the cosmos. <laughs> and taste it. Ugh. Okay, so you can tell immediately there's some movement up in this corner. And it from you can tell it's not touching the ground. Got a Say that one more time. Uh, you can tell there's movement up in that alcove, and it's not touching the ground. I gulp and start moving back. <laughs> Stealth! Okay. Yeah, start moving back. <laughs> and I start moving back. This. Stealth! Start okay. back. So, uh... Here's the here's the rub. There is something way over there, and it's moving, but it's not on the ground. Probably a zombie holder. Probably the thing that they were talking about. 
before, yes. Was there anything else? Was there more passages? What? Um, over on this side, there looks like a wall of spikes. I'm guessing a trap that hasn't been triggered yet. Okay, but, torture wall. Yep. And on this side, just another hallway I haven't explored all the way down. Nothing, nothing to the east and the south? Nothing that I could see. But I didn't want to venture further in case that thing saw me. Okay, so what do you want the plan to be? I say we move on ahead slowly and go towards this alcove first. Okay, lead on. I move to the others. I say we're moving ahead. Be careful. There is, the zombie holder is just down the hallway, and if we are too loud, it might hear us. He was telling that to all of us, right? He's yep. telling it to Rania, who I believe is re relaying that to at least Dash. Uh -huh. uh, so we're moving I, forward. I'm in range with everyone else. So yes, we're moving forward, but be careful. Okay, time for stealth checks. Yep, yep. So I'm stealth. carrying. I'm carrying Talek. Yep. So you guys. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Talek, roll stealth check. Oh, your powers combined. I have a 12. Roll it again. <laughs> How the hell? Oh, no. Is that... Roll it again. Oh, yeah. You didn't roll disadvantage. Oh, I'm sorry. Just click it again. Lady Luck, come on. Okay. Oh, no. Alright. How far do we get? Hi, Rick. I can only assume it's one thing. Huh. Ooh. Yeah. Belksis? And Belksis, not, not that good, but yeah, you guys walk forward. Biscuits. Here we go! <laughs> Man, Hyger got a better stealth check than Belksis did. That's amazing. <laughs> tell everybody to stop. Hmm? In a calm voice. And point out over here is where I saw the movement of something. It might be the zombie holder, it might not be. Either way, something is over here. What's the game plan then? Our game plan? We're going this way. So, just ignoring it entirely? Until we have to deal with it. I'd rather stave that off as long as possible. I'm okay with this. Same here. So he goes over here and everyone to wait about right here because we haven't explored further. Okay. So now I'm going to investigate the ground as we move on all fours again, seeing for trip wires or pressure plates. Okay. Nothing. Seeing anything, he says as he moves forward. Oh, we're just into an alcove that seems to go on further. Hmm. He can peek around from behind Belsis. You just see the end of an alcove with a, uh, with a, uh, what appears to be a small hidey hole over here. Ooh, hidey hole. Something's down that way. As Bundle points it out. Might be the mine. Hmm. Or at least another, like, someone took a pick to it and started digging. 
unfruitfully or fruitfully. Who knows? Well, might be worth it checking out. I guess. I investigate from this point. You, this time, pulling on the X-ray ring and seeing if that helps. Okay. Uh, you don't sense anything. Not so far. I'll get to it right here and I check again. All right. Again, the stone and crystals look slightly discolored here. And as you look up, there is a jug just attached to the ceiling. A jug? A uh, jug. An alchemy jug? No, it's like a, a big old, like, you know, like the, the honey pots that Pooh drinks out of? Yeah. Like, imagine, imagine twice that size. Just, like, stuck oh. on top of the ceiling. I motion over to Belxis and pull oh, out the jug. Hmm. She moseys on up, it's like, hmm, curious, most curious. Uh, ooh. Mm. She takes a pebble off the floor and flicks it at the, uh, at the jug. But Nothing. <laughs> hmm. Something triggers it. Yeah, nothing's happening when I touched it. Alright. Seeing that I'm guessing the jug is like right. Did they did they just decide to go drinking? I don't know. Did, was this was this like the result of a party? Or is that treasure? If it's treasure, it's mine. Oh my God. <laughs> Calm down, dude. <laughs> He says as he looks at the jug, if anything, that's more likely a trap. And if it's a jug, I'm guessing either something like acid or lava or hell. Maybe liquid souls, who knows? That's like, but that hidey hole over there, either way, we have two interesting things. Well, how do you want to deal with this? And he says as he points to the discolored uh, bots that you had noticed before. Because that looks yeah, like... Yeah, it's, it's darker. That's the thing. It, it's darker. Darker? Oh, okay. Uh, note that too as well. Hmm. Maybe it's shielded from the stalactite's moisture. Maybe. He says as he knocks the arrow they still has free in his hand. Mm hmm And fires at the spot where that discoloration is at. Nothing. Nothing? Hmm. I can't make heads or tails of this one. Maybe there's something on the ground. He says as he looks at the, uh, looks for something that, like a tripwire. Damn you, lack of advantage. <sighs> uh, what are you doing when you're looking? Like, are you moving? Are you, like,. Using your tail? Are you like on all fours, investigating like like an animal? What's going on? I'm on all fours, taking one of my arrows from the feather side, and kind of sweeping in front of me to see if the feathers uh, either rise on the bottom or rise on the top for trip wires. Like just square. just in that five foot square area. Yeah, and I keep doing this as I get towards the jug area. Okay. So, do it there, do it there. Uh, Alright. Deck save. Ah, mother. Oh! It's gonna make a lot of noise, isn't it? 20. Mm -hmm. Alright. So. I miss water, friend. 
He's dead. Mm, not likely. Damn. Elementals can't be killed that easily. He's dying of boredom. Probably. All right. Why do so I hear death? as you brush up against something, you're like, "Huh, that's interesting." Oh, I touched something, and immediately the jug tilts like a cement mixer and out sprays. You take five acid damage. Ooh. Oh. Hey, I would have resisted that. Would have, could have, should have. <laughs> and yeah, uh. I need you to make an additional deck save. Okay. Nice. Okay. Wow. Uh, that time you take 11 acid damage. What? <laughs> okay, 9. I'm sorry, Miss Cluck, I got 9. Oh, God. <laughs> so, 9 and 5. Look, I rolled, I rolled max damage on both die, and that's halved. He takes half damage if he succeeds. So okay, so I'm not taking nine and five, I'm taking half of that. So you're taking ten damage. Ten damage. Ten damage, okay. In addition. Twenty. So yeah, oh God, just you got acid me. just bursts out of this jug and but it seems like that was the only bit of it, because after that it just stops. It's like glue glue bleh, and this trickle. Like Right. Belks is like, huh? Oh, she has to make a deck save too. I forgot because it's a twenty. <laughs> it's a twenty foot cone. <laughs> and while this is oh, going no. on, run. <gasps> oh no! Did Belks just fucking die? Minus twenty one. Minus uh. thirty one. <laughs> Like, <laughs> <laughs> so she takes 10 damage the first round and huh All right. How interesting I'm dead so she takes 10 and 11 10 and 10 damage and it's like oh god idiot and but she looks at like oh it seems to be done ow and then there's another one <laughs> <laughs> and then, then oh, says ass. as he brushes off what uh, other aesthetic part was on him some of your fur okay. comes off it's like there it is <laughs> how much <laughs> like like when sylvester like has like gets burned and like just some of his fur just peels away like to reveal like the 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 naked arm beneath. Oh. It's like And there's so, and there's blood and like liquid skin coming off too. It's like it's it's gross. After Rania's better berry attempt again. How much noise did that make? Um depends on what bundle and Belks just did and yeah, I'm guessing Bugs has made some yowling noises from getting splashed Yow! in the in the front with acid. Yeah. Do we uh, hear that? Oh yeah. Uh, Dash immediately looks down this way to see if anything else heard that. Talik does too. <laughs> what do I roll? Fell tragic. <laughs> uh, nothing happens. Go. <sighs> Yet. But you still hear murderous yowling from down the way, like... Just so we don't forget where it is. What? Sounds like Feliana is getting in trouble. We'll wrap up. Okay. <laughs> I forgot to mute! Shit! <laughs> Why are they getting in trouble? Mm. Alright, that time you make four. No, five better berries. Yeah. Woo! And. Slowly replenishing my supply. 
Uh, the other five berries just sort of shrivel. Like they become raisins that smell like... That smell like, uh, tar. Yeah. Hell, ew. How many of them did I get? You got five of each. Five, five better berries and five, uh... Five... Nuts. That, why does that keep and, going high? And five, uh... Let's just call them bad berries. Bad berry. <laughs> five not five not good berries. Mm. Double plus not good. Five bad berries. I don't know what they are, but I imagine I can. <laughs> None of you heard it. Anything? Yeah. Nothing is going to on. To be fair. It even though, even if we did hear anything, which we did, we don't understand it, so... <laughs> I'm not in trouble. My grandma was just worried because I uh, was coughing a lot. Ah. Bless you, yeah. child. The only language I know is English, and I suck at speaking English. I know some <laughs> French. I failed also? Spanish three times. Je parle minute français. I think the only French I legitimately know is Omelette du Fromage, because it's Dexter's lab. <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, but you guys hear some murderous yowling from down the way. Huh. Okay. We should, 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 should we check on them, or should we wait for them? Besides, how are you back? moving? You guys have a torch? I do. Oh. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hey, okay, guys. so never mind. Something something down there moves and starts moving towards you guys. Uh oh, uh, Dash drops Rania. Or drops what? Talek. Shit, shit, shit. Rania put. Yeah. Rania extinguishes the torch. Guys, guys, come on, move, move, move. Over here, over here. Oh. North Pass. Should, we, ro should uh, we roll stealth for this? Sure. Sure. Damn it, Dash not? again. Oh! Damn! Fuck! <laughs> Even with disadvantage, that's still re <laughs> You got a modified nine. You got a nineteen and a net twenty. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure that was a flat roll anyway, so yeah. I'm invisible. Clank, 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 clank. I am not meant to Guys, guys, we, we have a problem. Oh, okay. good. <clears throat> Dash is saying this to Bundle and Belxus. Oh, really? You think? He says as he's missing parts of his fur. <laughs> well, you're gonna want to heal up, because what, whatever happened here, I think, caught. We have company incoming. Wonderbar, he says as he moves over to to uh, Rania and asks for a stack of good berries. Talek okay. pulls get perhaps his mace in and shield and gets ready. <laughs> yeah, Dash draws his great sword and gets ready. Uh, Bell goes over to Belxis. Okay, uh, Rania gives him uh, uh, twenty good berries. Eat. I gorge them down. Paul goes up to Bex uh, to Be Belk Six. Need some healing? Please. Well, there. I cast the level. Dash looks to Hybrid. Are you ready? Yeah, the, the, yeah this is going to be a level three. Mm. He pulls out a giant crossbow. Like a Here giant heavy crossbow with two handles. 17. Okay, so Belk is like. Oh, that feels so much better. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Dash is Dash welcome. is Dash again is gonna ready his his acid breath to spray at whatever comes down on reaction. Mm. Bell's gonna prepare a shatter. And right. it's official. Talent needs to learn how to And I'm gonna prepare <laughs> a poison arrow. Um, yeah, let's just set up the, this goddamn firing line. <laughs> Wait, why did I think of that? <laughs> Guys, I uh, I have an idea. Okay. I have a spell that I haven't tried out yet, but I know that uh, that I've learned it. It's called web. Mm, I have that too. I have a chance to use it. 
So if we want to bring this thing down, I can do it. Now that you're off self next to Dashkin. As soon as that thing appears, once you two get done throwing all your range, throw me next. No, I am just gonna run up and start smacking you before it gets the chance to disintegrate us. Okay. You should it has run a good up dex. Okay, good idea. Talek proceeds to jump onto Dashkin's back, holding on with his mace out and ready. You I'm on sure I jump. Something. Oh my god, Talek, no. This is Dashkin the player saying, please, just just you go normally. Oh man, I want him to do something cool and funny. It's this like, thing can wipe us if it feels like it. We want to kill it normally and not try anything flashy. Not trying anything flashy. You yes, you are. I swing on top. That might give me disadvantage, dude. Ah, good point. Run you to okay, so. the casting ritual. Oh no. Spell. Well, Shit, it won't work. I don't think rituals will work in combat because they they take a long this time to do. This isn't combat yet. Oh, it isn't, uh, is it? Yeah, I was going to say, Brett, does he have time to do a ritual? No. Okay. Okay, then I just prepare my silence spell. You might want to prepare something that does damage. I think I should probably, uh... I don't think I should probably cast a spell, because... I, I, either shit. damage or crowd control. Okay, I prepare Moonbeam, then. Yes. I guess we're just waiting to see what we're about to unleash upon. Uh, I don't think my web is gonna work. I think it's probably gonna... Oh, jeez. That'd be weird. If we're all preparing all this stuff and just, like, outwaddles a penguin... <laughs> That's gonna be a dead penguin, because Dashigan is breathing on reaction to whatever he sees. No, not the penguin! I don't even know why the hell there would be a penguin here. No, hold up. Here we go. The most I prepare thing. No, that would that would kill us all too. Shit. Please don't cast something that'll kill us all. It's fairy fire. If I cast it, one of you enters the uh, enters the ring. It might uh, you might you guys might get caught and, and I you have... get. Uh, no, I have advantage against fairy fire. What? How? Th this is how. Mm. <gasps> Screw it. Instead of preparing a web, I prepare a fairy. <laughs> That's okay. just your go to spell. So, as you guys are baiting in silence, uh, something does indeed float up. Around uh, the corner. Uh, ah! Just everyone. And we're gonna end the session there. Oh. Yeah. Because yeah. Spell's gotta go places. Okay. Uh, can you make a note that we're waiting to unload up this thing on reaction right before combat starts? Yeah, we'll we'll have a we'll have just a straight D twenty roll. Uh, actually, yeah, let's do that right now. We're gonna. Uh, everyone roll a straight d20. Alright. Never Wait, mind. What's, what's the straight d20 for? Uh, initiative for a surprise round. Okay. 20! I got a Alright. I got a rock. <laughs> Joke's on you guys, I'm going in ascending order. <laughs> Goodness. Take a shot! So fell, then, yeah, then now. fell, dash. You know what I'm disappointed by? I've not heard one later this whole uh, this stream. You guys have not heard one Jesus what? fuck for this entire stream. Ah, we heard it, we heard it, we heard it. Take so, three shots. <laughs> so fell, Hygric, dash, Talek, bundled in Rania. Wait, what? He's going in ascending um, order. Really? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's interesting that way. It gets boring over time. It. It's always the same. It's fine, man. You, it's still yeah. a surprise round. Yeah, we're yeah. getting to do stuff, and You're it's getting not. mad about doing stuff in a surprise round. Uh, what is uh, it? Yeah, it, it, it honestly doesn't matter in what order we do it because it's a surprise round. We uh, were prepared Hagrid, for this motherfucker. Hagrid, Dash, so Talek, shit, shit, Bundle, shit, Rania. shit. Nice. 
By the way, Belt just can't do shit from where she is. Nope. That's why she's not on the list. Yeah. Uh, let's see. And let's see something for Web. I suppose Bundle can shoot over my head since I'm shooting. I'm just gonna move forward, shoot, run back. We can move on surprise rounds, right? Yes. Half okay. movement. Um, question. Okay. Uh, have you hit a milestone yet? Set from the mm. last session? What have we done? Well, we killed a giant zombie and they won. Other enemies. We have I get the feeling this teams. might. I get the feeling this might be the milestone. I'm pretty sure Brett told us before that um, our milestone would be after we got out of the Feywild. Uh, well, I didn't count on you guys having a rest. So, okay, you're level six. Oh, we are? What? Yeah, so when you rested, I, I'm going by old school D&D rules where you have, it's basically uh, like you have to rest in order to level up. Oh my god. So can we rest retroactively? Can we, if, since we didn't know I that. I was going to do that. We... So yeah, like retroactively, you are guys are now level six. Oh, Does that mean retroactively the spellcasters can add different spells if they get new spells? Uh, 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 uh. Yes. Okay. Oh, I just got the best thing. Work pub, here I come. So yeah, I'll put that in the chat. Um, I'll, I'll worry about that first thing. It's pretty much one and I don't want to keep breath too long. Or bundle. So yeah, and we're gonna. Yes! Start there. Uh, thanks, Pawn, for stopping by. I appreciate it, and I hope you have a good night, sir. Yeah.